recording Hi there. Hi. There we go. Well, my video is not on, is it? Hi, Deborah. Hello. I'm well. <laughs> Bob, I think we're looking good. Hmm? I think not just looking good, but I think what all of the documents we've produced look good. So far, so good. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank us. Oh, my. Now, when is it we have to get this to? Um... Do at the printer on Friday, I believe. Yep. Uh, but soon. Yeah, it's soon, but it looks good. And Julie, thank you. Yes. Well, Julie, you've been busy. Yes. yes. Allison and I have been working together, so it's, yeah, it's well, a nice team. That's, I say, team, great team. And, and please forgive the double emails. She forwarded, she sent it to me. So I, I've been going straight all day. So at 6.10, I went, oh, I'll forward it on. And then I read the next email where she had already sent it off to you guys, so. A grave sin, Julie. <laughs> we are grateful. Oh, thank you. Very. Uh, so Friday, what, Friday, who do we give it to and then how does it get to the printer? Um, I will, uh, Allison and I will work together and once I have everything, from FinCom and we've dotted all our I's and crossed all our T's on Thursday. I will send it off to Allison who will combine everything into one PDF um, document. Because right now I have it mostly in Word. What about the pieces? Aren't there a few pieces outstanding that Tony said for, for the BOS? Yeah, but the CPC articles, which we saw the draft of, um, and then one more CPC sub-article was added. So the, the, the Board of Selectmen haven't uh, oh, approved okay. those yet. What Allison sent you all today that I responded to, it has the draft that the Selectmen will be voting on tomorrow mm -hmm. night. Right. So you, so you have it before they voted on it, which is okay, but I just wanted to make sure you guys knew it, that the Thank Selectmen you. are gonna be officially voting on it and closing it for good tomorrow at uh, 6.30. Okay. So then will we be meeting on Thursday or oh, not? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Has, it been post has it been posted? Yes, please. Yay. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. I heard that. <laughs> no, it has. Honest, it has. No, no, yeah. I believe you. I just hadn't gone down the count that calendar that far. Am I working on the weekend, Bob? Hmm? Oh, we uh, no, weekend, no good. Friday too and late. Too late for us anyway. So yeah, Friday yeah. over. That's it. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's been done. I just wanted to yeah. let you guys, I just want to let you guys know I'll be popping off of uh, I'll take my camera down and and pop it on mute because I'm helping get the kids ready for bed here. But I'm listening in and I'll be ready to jump on mm. if you guys need me. We can't watch. <laughs> yeah. you, can't, you can't get your kids ready for bed. Come on. No, no, no. I bet they have cute PJs. Have priorities, Tony. Cute my, PJs. My, my daughter priorities in right order. My daughter turned two on uh, <gasps> Congratulations. Oh my oh. God. It's crazy. How did that happen? Whoa. It's crazy Don't to see how fast. Um, so how, how old's your son? He turned four in January. Oh, that's funny. It's Shoot. beautiful name. I love his name. Yeah, Bronco, yeah. Yeah. You, you know, you measure time in other people's kids because you just can't believe that. Yeah. <laughs> you measure time in other people's kids. Judy, that's a wonderful <laughs> aphorism. I like it that. Is. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. It is true. Because you just think, how could that time have been passed? My gosh. Yeah. Yeah. 
my second is turning 30 in a couple of weeks. So. <laughs> and, and I just brought my, and I just brought my 31 year old home from the hospital um, like a week ago in a baby carriage, you know, like that's right. how fast it That's just what it feels off. like. Yeah. That's it's the truth. amazing. Yeah. That, that line needs to be like the first line of a novel or something. Yeah, Judy, <laughs> yeah. You got Judy. it, Judy. Feel free to use it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying well, to figure out how we work that into our cover letter. <laughs> what the time flies and you you know enjoy your kids while you have them. That's oh, the, right. No, it was um you measure time in other people's children. Kids. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway, it is, I don't know why. It is it's time. Yeah, it's yeah. time. It, it is 6.32. We have a quorum. Vandersloy, Spady, Tarmi, Zahora, Deborah Warren. Who else is here? Peter is here. Is Joy joining us? And Cap McMacken Captain McMacken just joined. Um, Allison and, and Tony have also joined us, and that's all I see. So we yep. are in order. So first minutes. Yes, we have two sets of minutes, which you should have all seen. Um, March 28th. I, I move that. that we approve the March 28th minutes. Thank you. Second, please. Thank you. Okay. No, I, can't, I, can't, I can't second. We need a second. Oh. Or was, or was Peter's wave a second? I, I, I'll second it. Um, Thank you. All right. Um, hold on. Let me just check something. I know we... I need to abstain because I wasn't there, but. Yeah, yeah so you can't second them. So I'll second it. Them. That's okay, I'll second it. I, I was just checking to see if I was there. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, but I thought anybody could second it because you could have discussion or whatever. I, I, don't, yeah, I don't think it matters. Okay. Yeah. I, you just. So, I'll we'll save you something else a second. Yeah, just just say Judy second to this. <laughs> I did. All right. <clears throat> so Barbara. Uh, abstain. Abstain, right. Um, Beatty? Aye. McNacken? Aye. Vanderslide? Aye. Warren? Aye. Zahora? Aye. Carmi? Aye. And the other was April 4th. And I move that we, I move that we, yeah, I move that we accept the minutes for April 4th. And Peter, I have you as not being at that one unless you came in late. Nope, I missed a couple. Okay. okay. So, I'm I, sorry, was there a second? Bain, no. A second. Thank you. We need one. Thank you. Um, so Barba? Uh, abstain. Beatty? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Vanderslice? Aye. Warren? Aye. Zahora? Aye. Army. So, okay, I want to say. And thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Well, we move on to getting the book done. Um, I don't know. We can can we can everybody see this screen? It's hard. Yes. 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 Hard you could make tell. it a tiny bit bigger. That might be nice. It's okay, but tiny bit bigger. All right, hang on. Might take stuff off the screen. That's good. Great. Oh. Okay, so um, not this column, but this column, this F over here is uh, where we stand, or is indicating the ones we have approved the words. All right, and so I you're going to have to make it a little smaller so we can see them all. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me do some screen housekeeping here.
there. That ought to fit. Do you do you, do you see the pictures of yourselves over here? Um, or, or, no. I don't, yes. I don't because I'm on yeah. an I, I'm on an iPad, but others might because they're. Yeah, we're on the right hand side in a little. Yeah. All right, so you do you do see all these pictures? Yes. You no, know, we we see pictures on our own screen from our own, but we're not seeing your you seeing pictures. Right now, we only see your your um. Okay. Your okay. All right, so I have all these pictures that I have to move around, but you don't see them, so that's fine. right. Um, I don't know. It, it, with lack of a better uh, scheme for doing this. Um, sensory sensory function. Hey, uh, excuse me, Bob. Yes, sir. This is Dana. <clears throat> I had some technical difficulties. And my apologies to the committee. And um, I, I noticed that we voted on the minutes already, but I had an edit for the April 4th minutes. Go ahead. Um, so the town administrator stated that under Article 24, the short term rentals, that the Board of Selectmen would create regulations to require annual licensing of short-term rentals. And then I mentioned that this is not in the current warrant regs for Article 24. I just thought that that was an important point um, that you know was brought up in the context of the meeting. Um, okay. Why don't you put that in the form of what an amendment to the minutes? Yeah. Amendment yep. to the motion. Then okay. it, you know, it can be seconded and voted on and and up or down on its merits. Can't we can we just add it to these minutes? That the yeah. today so, right. That's a yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It okay. will be in the, the, these minutes. Yeah, that's I'll go back right. and amend. Even better. To show it. <clears throat> Even better. All right. That's fine. We can move on. Thank you, everybody. Okay. All right. So if we if we just run down through this, whoops, I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over on you. Salary and classification plan. Uh, that text was not in the draft that I saw, uh, Julie and or Allison. Is it that so this one's still coming? I thought, I thought it was in there. It's in there, Bob. Yep. It was in the, I think the last iteration I sent to you and it's in the one today. Yeah, it's um, in the one today for sure. Yeah. Since the police, fire and DPW contracts are still being negotiated. The tables that are in the classification plan are the current year's tables. And it basically just says that these contracts are being negotiated, currently being negotiated. And then I did include the um, FY24 salary plan for the school teachers and the um, paraprofessionals. But Tony just emailed us something about that. That's the Swampska contract. Oh, right. Okay. That's right. That's so he wanted us to hold on on the the contracts related or the I'm sorry, the the dollar numbers or budget numbers related to the um, contract negotiations here, but also for the school committee because they're negotiating with Swamp Scott. That's at least what I read. Uh, what I what I was talking about was the um, in the cover letter, the bullet points in your cover letter. No, no, no. There's... I mean Tony Parentazzi for this for the school. Oh, committee. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. We can come to you just in a second. But we were talking the classic about... mix up. No, no, no. <laughs> You're both great guys. <laughs> and at least one of you is handsome. <laughs> oh. I'll let him have that one. To... I'll let him have that one. That's funny. The only thing I saw from Tony Pierantazzi was the um, information about the swamps got um, information in the cover letter. Yeah, I think that's what it was. You're right. Correct. Yeah, but he kind of filled in the blanks, right? <clears throat> it corrected it for us. Yeah.
What tab, is it tab eight that I'm looking for? The warrant? Oh, here we go. All right, so we, for this one, article four, we have not voted to recommend or not recommend. So we have to vote on the article itself and uh, do a proofread and then vote on the, the language. So essentially two, uh, two votes are required. But how do we, how do we vote on a salary and classification plan if the negotiations aren't done yet? It's, it's mentioned in the, um, the verbiage. We have last yeah, but I mean, what Allison just said. I, I realize that, but what I'm saying is how do we vote and, and how do we put together I mean, we could certainly put together a recommendation or no recommendation, but, and I don't know, what if, um, what if Tony comes back with, oh, the police department mm -hmm. want, you know, 35%. I mean, I, you know, I just, um, I'm a little leery about voting on something if I don't know all of the numbers are set in stone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this, no, the salary and classification plan itself is okay. That, that's, that's a fixed thing. And I'm going to turn off my camera so you don't have to. Well, no, that's fine. No, I, it's, I, it's an entire, my, my, my camera is a whole different issue here. But it's the salary classification plan that doesn't include the, the contracted um, increases it usually does. It usually has like a um, scale or some sort included in it. We've been in this position before. Um, and I guess I would say, you know, the contracts are subject to the appropriation as well. So I can't, I can't really, I can't pay them more than what's appropriated for the salaries. What, what's approved at town meeting. So there is a control there, um, but this is the same language we used. We looked it up because it was yeah a couple of years. I forget ago. which year it was, uh, but yeah, right, yeah. similar. But no, I, so I, I guess I want to separate the salary and classification plan, which is maybe what twenty or so named positions that are that are governed by the salary and classification plan and that's fixed and that can be voted on okay but yes i think and then there are the collective bargaining agreements which are a completely different set of employees and and is they, that under the salary and classification no plan? it's not it's it's a collective bargaining agreement under it, omnibus but i mean it's in the omnibus it's right. in, well, the results of it are in the omnibus. Right, okay. And what I'm not, what I don't remember is does the town have to ratify the collective bargaining agreement once it's final? The selectmen approve it, but it's not the negotiate or the, the actual document doesn't get voted on at town meeting. At town meeting, okay, that's what I was asking. But if you look at like the book from, Last year, I believe, Allison, if you could jump in, I believe there was like a wage scale that was that was plugged in there that came from, you know, the contract they're currently working under. Is that that's right, correct. Allison? Yes, that's correct. So what the what you're voting on is a salary range for a number of administrative and professional positions. But then the actual document also contains the current year salary scales for police, fire, and DPW. Yeah. So I mean, let. I feel like I wrote this back when Truman was president. <laughs> what what we were trying to do is in this recommendation. Um we were trying to present all of the salary and wage related information in one place 
so that you know there, there's some equity and there's some comparability to it. So we say the recommendation discusses salary and wages of all non-elected employees, even though the town meeting can't change the terms of the union contracts or other agreements. Okay. Now the advisory and finance committee believes the comparative presentation is important to help assure salary equity among positions subject to different approval and funding mechanisms. And then we try to explain, there are two steps. We have to set the rate of pay, right? So setting the rate of pay is the salary and classification plan and the union contracts and a couple of special agreements. And then separately, you have to fund the line items which are in the omnibus. Right, so here we say, okay, so setting the rate of pay, which is step one, set the rate of pay. It can be done in one, two, three, four different ways. The salary and classification plan, the union agreements. There are a couple of individual agreements. And then uh, the next article, don't know what, I guess it's article five in this case. Um, elected officials are covered in that article. Okay, are we so far so good? Yep. Okay, and then here we go. So here's the salary and classification plan. And this is, right, so th this, this is voted on at the town meeting. This has to be approved. And then you, you see the results of this in the omnibus, right? So, you know, pick somebody that, the children's librarian is going to be somewhere between wow, <clears throat> between those two numbers in the omnibus. Well, yes. you don't have the document on your screen. Oh, I don't. No. Oh. Well, I have it. No, the actual the classification plan. We still have the tracker up. Okay, I hate Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know how to get it back? Um, just unshare and reshare. I don't. Not even sure I know how to do that. How do you I get at the top? You hit new share. Yeah, but there is no top. It's just mm -hmm. my. Full, it's literally my full screen. Ah, escape. Exit full <clears> screen. <throat> There we go. So stop share. Now we get. Uh, da, 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 da. Just trying to figure out which one I want. Do I have to do this like every time? Yes. <laughs> Seriously, doesn't I mean doesn't doesn't no, so normally so just, if. You if you go to the share screen option, you can then reselect yeah. which screen you wanna want to share. Okay, so now I just selected share my entire screen. So you are looking at the, the tracker thing, the, the yep. Excel yes. bar at yes. the top. Now yep. if I switch over here to, to here, and you're seeing, hopefully, in a second, you're seeing that committee book, right? Correct. Okay, I done good. Now all I have to do is find out where we were. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so we we talk through all of this, right? This is the intro part. Then we've got, this is the salary and classification plan itself. And this, this has to be voted at town meeting. And we, um, this is really what we are voting on for this article. Because if you read the wording of the article itself, uh, article blah, 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 which is the salary and classification plan. So when we, when we vote on this, I think what we are really voting on is, this 
this whole thing. Mm -hmm. That makes, that makes sense. sense, right? Yes. Sense. And then second, second, when we vote on the words or, or on our recommendation, then we're voting on all of this verbiage, which includes things in addition to the salary and classification plan. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And I guess I should just add, do we want to continue this practice? Yes. Well, we've done it. I mean, historically, why not? That's the way we've done it, right? Yeah. This is historically how it's been been done. Yeah. Is is the reason not to do it because it's not reflective of the current collective bargaining process? Um no, I, I well, I, I'm supporting doing it this way. I like doing it this way. All right. Yeah. I'm just trying to understand it. I'm not like arguing for one side yeah, yeah. or the other. Um, but I mean, Danny, the, you make a good point. With, with this collective bargaining one, we have to be careful to one disclose that there is on there are ongoing negotiations, and the numbers you see here are really last year's numbers, the the pre new contract new numbers. What did we say last year? Uh, well, the last time there was on there were ongoing negotiations. This is what this was. This was pretty much copied and pasted from the last time this happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're saying the town is currently negotiating contracts with the police, fire, and public works unions. School committee negotiated collective bargaining agreements with the teachers and the educators. So, no school is done. Police. Fire and public works are currently in negotiation. Um, the wages in the, are not subject to change by the town meeting. And, and then is this clear? Below are the fiscal year 23 salary scheduled for all non-school unions. And is that clear that we're saying that this isn't what's being proposed in the new contract? This is what exists now. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's clear yeah. enough and okay. somebody's going to get up and and say that anyways. I mean, yes, yes. Whoever reads this article gets the, the pleasure of explaining. this. Exactly. So I, I think you're good. I think we're good. OK, so we just need to make the words, the recommendations say that. The, I don't understand what you said, Judy. It does. Is, so the recommend does the recommendation say that specifically, or where do you want that said? Well, th this is the recommendation. This right. is what we would print in the book. This is the top of it. Well, yeah, yeah. So this starts. It start. It okay. Let's go back to the top here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. This is the article itself. The article is only asking the, the town meeting to approve the salary and classification plan. The recommendation okay. is, is actually covers more than just the salary and classification plan. Because, you know, because to kind of assure salary equity and we want mm -hmm. to disclosure of what's going on. Right, so blah, 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 we, and then we, that's what we say. And then here's the piece that gets voted on. And as I remember the way it happens on town hall floor is we just reference a page in our book. So we're gonna reference whatever page it ends up, page 56 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we don't have 50 pages in the book. And then our recommendation goes on and says, yep, there's an ongoing negotiation. Here's- oh, And that's fine. Right, there's that. Yep. <clears throat> the recommendation kind of even goes, goes on and on, well, not on and on, but it also discloses here, 
Union employees get more than the base salary. So their take-home pay is typically more than that base salary. And then we just give like a really wide, wide range of what a, a police officer take home is. And this, this, Allison, this comes right from W2s, right? Yeah, so I run, uh, I'm able to run a report in our payroll system yes. and aggregate it there. So, but yes, that is what is report on W2s. Right. We don't disclose any names. We just say, look, it's just low and high. And we do similar thing for the teachers, which is here's the teachers uh, union contract. And we kind of do the same thing so that there's there's typical, not typical, actual take home pay range. And then there are a couple of individual contracts, which is what this is. And then where are we here? Don't go too far. Then there's a brief discussion of um, how, what, what we offer and pay in um, uh, health insurance. And that's hey, the end. Bob? Yes. Oh, I see, it's 470 daily, got it, for the special ed, got it. That's a daily. Okay. I mean, yep. Oh, yeah, here. Yes. Yeah, that's daily. Yep. Just to let you know, I did have Tony P proof all the school <laughs> positions just to double check my numbers. And so this what has his blessing too. <laughs> and I'm sure you were spot on. And Tony is too, always. Yes. Right. Okay, so is, is there further questions or discussions on, on this? And if not, may we have a motion to first to uh, recommend or not recommend, that's my assistant in the background there, um, mm -hmm. recommend or not recommend the article itself. Make a motion that we recommend the article. I'll As second. Prepared, we're written. I'll second. Okay. Um, Farba? Aye. Bartlett? Bartlett? Sorry, I couldn't unmute. Aye. Thank you. Beatty? Aye. McNacken? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Warren? Aye. Vanderside? Aye. Laura? Aye. Charmy? Aye. So that's unanimous. Oh, no. Okay. So we've, we've voted to recommend the article, and now we need a second motion, a, a second motion and second, there you go, um, for the words, right? The, the, the recommendation that will appear in the book. So moved. I'll second oh. that. Okay. Uh, Barba? Aye. Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. Mackin? Aye. Ian? Sheehan? Aye. Warren? Aye. Anderslide? Aye. Dora? Aye. Army I, that's unanimous to approve the verbiage. Yay. And so who's going to read that one? You. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see if that was so. Just, <laughs> you it had it last, so well last such, year. Exactly. Exactly. I, yeah, I, thanks. I, if, if you want, I will read it. I'm, no, 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 I'll read it. Yeah. That's fine. I'm just fine. Yeah. I just didn't didn't see my name on it, so. You just need to have somebody hand you a, a, a bottle of water when you get like, a, you know, a third of the uh, to a halfway down so that you can yeah. take a break. Right. <clears throat> Article five. Right. And the 
reading the article really isn't bad because the article is only on this thing and you don't read the whole table. You just reference a page in our book. So, oh, right. right. So the motion you're yeah. going to read is going to be something about, you know, to uh, right. approve or amend article, whatever, 13, section 5, section <laughs> B, as appears on page thus and such in the finance committee's book. Oh, so maybe I jump. I jumped the gun a little bit. I should have waited until we got to the omnibus before I said Judy would read it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because now you're you're still fair game for the omnibus. I, I, right. thought that, I know I read one of them last year. I, it might have been the oh. omnibus. I think you did, Judy. All right. Well, then I'll take the omnibus. Somebody else can have this one. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't care. I mean. <clears throat> All right, we'll cross that bridge when we come. <laughs> Did you see all the volunteers? <laughs> uh, I, you know what? If Judy takes the omnibus, I I don't I don't mind as you know as long as this is prepared. I uh, I right. mean it sounds pretty easy. I'll put your name in the note. Okay. Okay, so Article Five is compensation for elected positions, and in this one. We voted to recommend this. So all we need is a vote on the words itself. So here are the, on that's what we need, a, a vote on this. So. I'll, I'll move to accept the verbiage as written. I'll, I'll second. <clears throat> okay, Barba? Aye. Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. McMackin? Aye. Jean? Aye. Warren? Aye. Anderslide? Aye. Zahora? Aye. Charmy? Aye. That's unanimous to approve. <clears throat> okay, so Article 6 is the omnibus itself. We have not voted on it. Um, It's probably time that we do so. Is is there, well, let's get a motion on the floor and then ask if there's any discussion about the- So omnibus. moved. Second. Okay, so it, it any comments, questions? Do are we propose changes to the omnibus itself? No, then I think we just move on to a roll call vote. All right. Barba? Aye. Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. Mackin? Aye. Ian? Uh, which one are you voting on for? Omnibus. Omnibus. Six. Um, I just, uh, I, I, I'm going to vote no because I haven't seen it. Just seen, I don't know the current one. Okay. Um, Warren? Okay. Aye. Vandersnice? Aye. Zahora? Aye. Carmi, aye. So that's eight ayes and one no. All right. Um, article seven. So we have an article. Yep. Most, of, most of the, yeah, most of the rest of these. We've voted to recommend the article itself, but we haven't seen the actual words, right. right? So, Julie Allison, what is my best source for it? On Article 7? Yeah, well, I, I think the answer is the same for all of the rest of them. The the verbiage we want to use is the latest one that um, Allison did some edits on, and I, she sent you one and I sent you one, so. Yeah, I, I'm confused. Which one are we working off? What's the uh, title? I'm Thanks sorry, so but mine doesn't have the finance committee recommendations in it, Julie. Okay. Oh. Mine, it, mine is simply, yeah, it's okay. just the warrant. Just so the, right. the, the one that I sent you, uh, Bob, where there are highlights in red. 
that we were working on now that we're working on that one. Uh, not that one. Well, everything's in there. Um, can we stop at Article Three? I mean, Article Two. I have that highlighted number in red. Is that what we're going with? I need to find your um your particular document, the one you sent sent us. This is this is, this is, what, this is, this is the one that's doing. called Warrant so far, or the one that's called updated FinCom book. Which email? The one we're looking at now is the, the latest one that I did before Allison's edit. Okay. Um, and and the I haven't had the opportunity to do anything with the one with Allison's edits. Oh, okay. Didn't open that until 10 after six. All right. Yeah, the only, there's very minor edits in mine and it's just the verbiage of the actual Warren article itself. It had, yeah, none of the FinCom stuff. Right, so I, I think we're okay working from what I hope I'm sharing on the screen. Yep, I, I think so, Bob. Because okay. it's basically the same. It's just that you wanted me to highlight the the articles that needed to be um, yep. at the yep. approved. But you've got your chart. Okay. All right. So off we go then. So is that is that the correct number in Article Three? Yeah, that's, that's the FY twenty two number I gave you because we're still in FY twenty three and the number is not finalized. Excellent. I'll. I'll okay. Thank Good. You. All right. So let's see. We've done everything up to the omnibus. So here we go. Water and sewer enterprise. Um, don't worry about the article too much. So we're 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 discussing that set of language. This article allows for the transfer of collected water and sewerage usage fees and the transfer from general funds into. All right, so I'm con <laughs> I'm confused. Is are we talking about the the uh, the debt shift in that sentence? Uh, that's what I'm not entirely sure about. <clears throat> This, no, this, this article. Is, this is not the shift. No, this article, this one gets confusing every year. It's this article, what it's talking about is shifting money from uh, the enterprise account to the general fund and back. So there's money that we collect through the enterprise account. So, like your water sewer bills. And the revenue that we collect in that, we shift it over to the general fund to pay some administrative costs of personnel out of the administrative, out of the general fund. And then there's some money that um, from the general fund that gets shifted to the enterprise as well. So it's always, it doesn't add up to zero. It's a little bit, it's a little bit awkward always every year. Um, Allison, do you have a, if that was confusing or wasn't clear, Allison, do you have a better way of explaining it? Well, the indirect expenses are part of the expenses line in there that you're talking about that we shift back to the general fund. So you're technically approving it. It's part of that line. Right. The but I mean, do you have a better way of explaining, I guess, how the money flows? Uh, yeah, so if you... If you look at the water and sewer budget um, that I've included, you know, in the book that I sent along, there's we budget for salaries, operating expenses, capital costs, and we budget that debt line is the debt shift. So that's raised by through taxes, comes into the general fund, and then we move that over to water and sewer to pay for principal and interest payments on debt. Um, but then we also budget underwater and sewer these indirect costs there. It's a percentage 
um, to cover administrative salaries, clerical salaries, health insurance. So that's budgeted under the expense line. And that money is shifted from water and sewer onto the general fund because technically there's administrative personnel that are doing a portion of work that should be attributed to the water and sewer fund. Okay, so I I was trying to write that as you went along. It, it, it may be easier to bust it into two sentences. So let's see how we did. This article approves the transfer of collected water and sewer usage fees to the general <clears throat> to cover general and administrative expenses of the water and sewer department. Yes? Yes, that's in part, yes. Okay, then the next sentence is, the article also approves the transfer from town general funds debt portion to the water and sewer enterprise funds to cover, I'm not sure what yet. I know you said it, but I didn't. So some of it is uh, to pay debt. So that's part of the debt shift. So some of the money that comes in through your taxes um, that gets raised in the general fund gets transferred to the enterprise account to pay down debt associated okay. with the with water sewer projects. Okay, so the article also approves the transfer from town general funds jet debt portion to the water and sewer enterprise fund to cover water and sewer debt service. Yes. Okay. Then. Is the debt pro portion that's in parentheses there be in a different part of the sentence? Or is it the debt portion of the general funds? That's what we're talking about. You see what I'm saying? Do we even need that? The debt portion, the, the little parenthesis that says debt portion. That I think you can debt. remove that because you're saying it at the end anyway. Okay, that makes it clearer. That's good. So uh, just a just a kind of a I don't know perspective. Don't we these articles are the same articles essentially year after year. Yeah. So why do we need to recreate the wheel other than we should just make sure that the numbers are correct? Um, it's the I same. I agree with that. It's not. I, it's I not agree different. with you. I agree with you, except in the case where it wasn't clear last year. And it okay. wasn't clear last year. <laughs> no, that's, and, and that's fine. I just, you know, we have several of these that are, we do the same thing every year. Yes. And oh, yeah. once once we get it right, we should just, you know, nail it and say, yep. yeah, okay. Okay. Then the following will be appropriated for the direct expenses. So... This is an enterprise fund. So does the town meeting actually have to vote this and it, 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 as like we would vote the omnibus? Yes, you do, because it's an appropriated fund. Right. Okay, so then, that, then this is fine the way it is. The following will be appropriated for the direct expenses of the water and sewer enterprise fund. And there they go. All right. Um, any more questions or discussion on this one? Anybody want to improve the words? Oh, I think I think that's good. Okay. So, so can I we move that we accept this uh, uh, recommendation as written? I second, second that. Okay, Barbara? Aye. Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Warren? Aye. Vanderside? Aye. Zahora? Aye. Charmy? Aye. That's unanimous. <clears throat> to approve the verbiage. All right, Article 8. Where was I looking? I, this was in Word. 
Okay, so Article 8. I think we did that one. Did we? I, I, I don't have it on my... Oh. I, I don't... Yeah, we did. Okay. We did that last week. Okay. Yep. That's why it's not highlighted. I forget whose it was, but I do have it here. Okay. How about Article 9? Uh, Article 9 needs to be done, the verbiage. Yep. Okay, so and Article 8, Peter, is one that's in, in your, uh, that category of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right, right, yeah. All right, so 9 is the Rubbish Enterprise Fund. So this is similar to the uh, water and sewer one, except much simpler because we don't have all the back and forth. Mm -hmm. So and that, this, that one should have you, the same language too. That language hasn't changed. Right. Yeah. This should be fine. Does anyone want to discuss? Or does anyone want to make a motion? So moved. I, second. I'll second it. <laughs> okay, Barba? Aye. Bartlett? Bartlett? Aye. Sorry. Thank you. That's okay. Beatty? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Ian? Aye. Warren? Aye. Andersite? Aye. Zahora? Aye. Army? Aye. That's unanimous to approve the verbiage. Okay, so Article 10, compost area, the sum of $30,000 for the compost area. Um, we don't have recommendation verbiage. We don't have. I sent that. I sent recommendation verbiage for that, yes, Julie. You did, and I, I again, I haven't done anything on this today. What in your spare time? What the heck? <laughs> no. I, yeah, really. All I did is I cut and paste the, the recommendation is of uh, finance and uh, um, uh, the finance committee. You know, approves it as as noted. It's really not that hard. And I didn't. I didn't send it to you. I just sent it to Julie. Oh, you okay? So, yeah. So this is a. Was this the same as last year? Same as last year, only luckily less money. Right. 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 Um. Do you want me to try to? I mean, you could just put it in later. It's, it really is just. Uh, the we have to vote on it. Oh, now I'm sorry. Do you want to find it? Uh, I'm trying to find it, but I don't want to leave. Oh, great news. Oh, oh, I can't. Oh, wait a minute. No. I have the language from last year if you want to. Um, I, I get... here's Judy. Um, what she wrote. Let me see. It really wasn't all that brilliant. <laughs> I'm sure it was, Judy. <laughs> You're really kind. Maybe this is where we work in the we measure time thing. <laughs> in generations. <laughs> all right, let's see. Um, oh, for goodness sake, that's not the right one. Hold on. I'll look for it. All right. So why don't we do this? When, when you find, we'll keep on going. When we find it, we'll come back to it. Fair enough. All right. So article, article eleven. Let's just get. Oops. Well, sorry, wrong one. All right. So we're ten. We're coming back to. 11, 12, 13, again, we have to look at the words. Yep. We've voted the recommendation already. Okay. So Article 11, um, recreation revolving, I kind of jumped ahead and 
I, my suggestion on this one, it, it's kind of fine the way it is. Um, I would recommend this second sentence, just we just say, this is good accounting practice and allows the time to, town to keep track of fees. <coughs> is that okay? Yes. I like straightforward, simple. Here, I found it. Um, let me send the one, um, I'll just put it in chat. This is for article 10. I'm gonna put it in chat. Yes, please. Seriously, that's it? I, I told you it, was, it wasn't all that brilliant. It wasn't worth the amount of time we looked for it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was the same as last year? Yeah. So we could add to that to say that the uh, FinCom believes in compost. <laughs> oh, don't, let's, yeah. let's not Wait get in the middle of anything. No, I. Is that the whole like, text of the recommendation? Me. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why, why would we? What else do we have to say? We compost is good. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, we could say no. There's no. It. It just. There's why belabor the point? No, I, 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 would, I would say it would be pretty hysterical to put compost is good. I'm not saying that. I think I this know. one's fine. I meant it to be funny. No, I think no, it would no, be no. hilarious. I mean, you know, yeah. let's put a little levity in this. Right. Yeah, but th that's that is true. But we we could say something about the fact that the compost area does require annual maintenance, and this takes care of cleaning out all the compost. And I don't think know. we need to do that. I think, I think really that's implicit. I, Okay. I, 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 I don't I, I'm, I think less is more here. I agree. I think so let them read it. It's not it you. That, yeah, it states that in the article. It, it would uh, all it, it, there's nothing to repeat. Oh, right, right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The maintenance is that's sometimes in the brevity, guys. Yeah, I know. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I move to accept this verbiage. I'll and, and I'll second it. Thank you very much. Barbara? Hi. Baby? I but I wish it said compost is good. <laughs> <laughs> Bartlett? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Ian? Aye. Warren? Aye. Vanderslice? Aye. Lahora? Aye. Charmy, aye. That's unanimous. Okay. And, verbiage. That's wonderfully we, by Judy. We can always say compost is good in our remarks on town meeting floor. <laughs> I was just oh, going to say okay. that. We can. All right, Article 11. Joy must think we are all completely, completely wacko. And she wouldn't be wrong. Right. <laughs> no, not, wrong. Not, not, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> wacko um, is good. Article, <laughs> uh, it's like article compost. 11. Yeah, I keep <laughs> I Just keep like telling you, this is the funnest committee in town. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> do we have a may we, may we have a recommendation on the language in Article Eleven, please? Uh, Let's see. I think I think we already did. This is good accounting practice and allows for. Right. Um, oh, I, did I, I want to. Yeah. We didn't vote I, on it though. I make no. a motion that we accept. As, so, uh, second. There's a typo in there. Ah, yeah. good eyes. Uh, before expenses, should be a D in the end. There you go. Okay, and the blue line goes away. Good. Way to watch them, Dana. No, I, I can't see it, so. Um, Barba? Aye. Bartlett? Aye. Brady? Aye. Mackin? Aye. Ian? Aye. Warren? Aye. Andersonites? Aye. Zahora? Aye. Army, aye. Unanimous to approve the verbiage. Okay, Article 12. Revolving fund. Can I raise a question? Um, 
The spelling of bylaws, I was reading some document today. Is that correct or does it have a hyphen? Which do we go with? Well, we can't change anything that's in the individual article. Oh, that's right. Okay, so. Just okay. in our, our um, responses, right. we try to keep that. Yeah, Nick, right. Uniform. Okay. I think the I think it does have a hyphen because I know the police right. one. Yeah. Has we a hyphen. Can, uh, we'll we'll take a note of it and clean that up. Okay. For tomorrow night. Thank you. So, so we're just basically uh, this is the same verbiage as last year, uh, and the dollar amounts are are the same. Correct. This is the same every year, pretty much. I yeah, so uh, it, it it's it's the same as last year. I think last year, the year before, we may have increased council on aging, but yes, it's the same as last year. Then I'll make a motion that we approve this verbiage as written. Second. I'll second. I just wanted to point out that the verbiage says the spending limit is 20,000 for each when the Board of Appeals is only 10,000. Oh, thank you. Just get rid of this last sentence. Yeah. It's kind of, well, redundant. It's, it's both redundant and wrong. Okay. 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 Did were we in the midst of a vote or I uh, we hadn't started the vote. I made the motion to approve the verbiage as written. And, and it was we second it, right? And uh, yep. I, I put down uh Peter Barba as the second. I heard him. Yep. Right. I vote aye. <laughs> Thank you. Bartlett. Aye. Lady. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Dean. Are we voting on revolving funds recommendation? Yes. Yep. Aye. Warren. Aye. Andersite. Aye. Zahora. Aye. Army. Aye. Unanimous to approve the verbal. I don't think I've spelled unanimous right yet. <laughs> I know what it means. That one's a tough one. It's just a bunch of scribbles. <laughs> I know what it means. As long as you don't write anonymous. <laughs> oh, that's another tough one. <laughs> but it but it came up in the notes properly. So Article 13. Um, oh, I didn't have the amount uh, for the of the current balance. I have it. I'm just looking it up. Thank you. Hold on. Thank you. It is uh, $103,000, 103510 dollars. So that goes here. So oh yeah. three comma zero. Hundred and three thousand five hundred and ten. Yeah. Yep. I'm just I'm I'm not wild about all this the the whole thing, but so long, you mean it's That's long basically, and, basically last year. Yeah, no, I I yeah. but it, is it necessary? Are all those worth necessary? That's what I'm probably not. 
the establishment and demonstrated commitment, we could just say the commitment, this is in the middle of it. The commitment to the funding. Well, let's actually here, let's do that. Couldn't we just start with the commitment to the funding? We could. Why don't we just start? Because it's not like we hadn't said that before. So you know what, where are we starting? On okay. Commitment to the funding of this growing library, first appropriate. Let's just start with, see right, right out, you're close, up a little right there to the right. Yeah. Uh, under demonstrate it. No, the other way. I'm sorry, the other right. <laughs> Down there, start there. there. Yeah, right there. So you just say commitment to the funding of this growing liability first appropriate in seven twenty uh, uh, fiscal year twenty. That gives us a little background of when it started. We don't need to say the rest of that stuff. Yeah, we need to say that the liability, a lot of it, has to do with health care because we don't say what the growing liability yeah, we, we, is. Right, we don't define the liability. Right. We need to mention health care. Well, it does say it up above. Right. Health yeah. insurance. Yep. It's health insurance. All right. Well, then just start with this. This essentially accrues the growing obligation. Start there. Hey, Allison, how much was um, spent out of this fund in uh, FY23? Nothing has been spent. So this is, um, this is just, it's like acts like a stabilization fund. We won't, wouldn't have to spend it unless we had to fund the full liability at one time. Okay. So, I mean, technically we wouldn't even have to do this. We wouldn't have to appropriate 25,000. Mm -mm. Right. We, but it's a good practice. Tony tries to be generous uh, because you can't force, you can't foresee, right? Who's going to need what? Do we right. know what the unfunded liability is? Yes. Um, so we have an actuarial report done every year, <clears throat> and we had it done this year. Let me just pull it up. <clears throat> Sorry. The unfunded liability, it's over a million dollars. I was going to say it was something around a million dollars. It's three million dollars, three point two. This article, Dana's question was, how much of the OPEB account did we spend last year? The answer is none. We haven't spent any. This article is putting twenty five into OPEB, not right. not appropriating funds <clears throat> to spend out of OPEB. Correct. Right, and, and as I understand it, there's never been any money spent out of this fund since 2020. I right? uh, since 20, 2020, right? Since Correct. it was created, I I don't I don't believe so. And yes. again, to spend out of it, it would require a town meeting vote. And it, you can take some words out. You can just say for healthcare coverage due to. You don't need that will be. Just well, do to don't yeah. okay, first sentence. Just it is it is future. Well, we say future. Oh no, but but oh okay fine. Well, when you say future, it is implied. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I I kind of agree with you. I just wanted to get some words on the paper. Okay. Now now we can have it have at it. Maybe hey, Allison, question question. Yeah. question about the um the fund hundred and three thousand. Mm -hmm. Where is the account and what is the um, rate of return on it? I don't know the rate of return offhand. Um, I'd have to ask the treasurer about that. I believe we have it at Eastern. Yeah. And it's probably getting 0.1% interest right now. Yeah, so um, we had discussed this another time. We are looking into reinvesting these stabilization funds into something that does gain more return. So I do have the treasurer working on that. Yeah, that's good to know because like, you know, we won't fully fund this $3 million, but as long as there's some kind of return on this fund, it, it makes more sense. But if it's just sitting there, 
getting 0.1% interest, um, it's being eroded by inflation and why are we even putting money in there? That, that's, you know, sort of a rhetorical question, but I just want to throw it out there to the committee and, you know. Sorry, not to be stupid, but why is it a growing liability? Yeah, I was wondering about that. Because it, it grows every year as, as. Yeah, but that's, but we know that, right? I mean. Can you continue? Well, no, I mean, I guess as healthcare costs increase. Oh. I, 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 that's fine. I'm, let's get rid of growing then. I want to say that, that is owed or just the coverage owed to future retirees. That will be due, as Barbara said, is kind of wordy. Coverage owed to future future. Yeah. And I, I kind of missed what the total was. Was it 3.2? I'm confused by the unfunded liability. Well, we're, we're funded with $103,510. Right. Liability, if everybody retired today, the liability is $3.2 million, as I understand it. Yeah. Okay. That's it. We, we would owe them $3.2 million. Yeah, but it, it would be, it wouldn't be like over time. Yes. A check. It would be just like the right. pension payments or the health insurance payments paid out, you know, a little bit at a time. So the, the three point two million dollars is a little bit misleading in this discussion. Um, yeah, you know, the twenty five thousand. I'm for it. As far as the the three, yeah, is good. disclosing the three point two going to scare the Jesus out of everybody and open open a <laughs> once, once again, it's a simple explanation, you know, that, I mean, literally, if you said to everybody, if everybody retired today, that's the $3.2 million liability. Everybody knows that everybody is not going to retire today. Right. Exactly, Peter. It's like life insurance. Not everybody's going to die tomorrow. Right, and exactly. Life insurance is not, companies not going to have to pay off all their problems. Right. So. So yeah, and yet, the, and yet the rates continue to go up. Yeah, incrementally, you know. Yeah, the the three point two million is is kind of uh, it's hard to put your mind around. Yeah, I agree. Person, I would be in favor of taking it out, but anyway. Would you be in favor of taking it out? I would. Yeah, I would as well. Yeah, I'm fine with taking it out. As yeah, it's scary. I mean, okay. Hard to say unless you can describe the whole thing, right? What it means. I, I like the sentences um, only paid as town employees retire, not do immediate. That's a good sentence. Yeah. And, and the next one, you might just uh, cut it a bit the commitment to fund this growing liability is a, is a more direct way, maybe. That reads better for sure. Yeah. There's growing liability again. No, I yeah, but now we've only got it <clears> once <throat> and it doesn't seem, it seems okay there to me. Okay. Well, we know it is growing. Yeah. Have we seen so, we I mean, see just can I throw out a hypothetical to the, to the FinCom? I mean, if, if the town is in, you know, a difficult financial situation, we wouldn't do this. We just would not appropriate 25,000. We'd be fine. And I, I don't think that the bond rating there, um, authorities would have a problem with us not doing that for a year or so. But this is sort of an optional thing that we do. Let's just do it, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the next sentence, what if we were to say at the end of the next sentence um, and can help determine? Yeah, that's easier. No, we... I think we should make it an active sentence, but I'm not going to. I agree. Well, and part, yes, I agree, but that's that's the first part. Well, then you could just say, and helps 
Right, and helps determine. Right. Look how many words we've gotten rid of. If that's no. our goal, we're doing well here. Yes, it is our goal. Yep, there we go. Okay. Better? Yep. Yeah, much. I think it looks great. <clears throat> so, good, enough, good enough for a motion? I'm going to make a motion that we accept this as written. I'll second. All right. Um, Barbara? Aye. Bartlett? Aye. Katie? Aye. Mackin? Aye. Ian? Aye. Anderson? Aye. Warren? Aye. Bahora? Aye. Army, aye. Unanimous to approve the verbiage. Okay. All right. We did Article 14, stabilization, before Article 15, paving. I don't know what we're doing here. So, Article 15, we did 14. 15, this should be a boilerplate. It is. Is that read right? Finance recommends that the sum of $100,000, shouldn't we just say be raised? Yes, we should. Yeah. And are appropriated for paving throughout the town, I would think. And that yeah. not be, but is, is raised. Well, no, because it's got to be subjunctive. Oh, now you're confusing me. Okay. Yeah, really. I think it is B, is correct. Okay. Throughout town. Yeah, it is B raised, yep. And, I mean, this is just rehashing the article the way this is written. Right. Can we just say recommends the article? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's fine the way it is. We could just say paving good. Yeah. <laughs> Newly paved roads are good. Paving good, buttholes bad. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That one we get a big round of applause. We do because we 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 get to where we need to go with the least amount of words. Well, then I'll move to uh, approve the verbiage as written. Second. I'll second it. Second. Okay, Barba. Aye. Bartlett. Aye. Beatty. Aye. Mackin. Aye. Ian. Aye. Vandersize. Aye. Warren. Aye. Laura? Aye. Army, aye. Okay. All right, 16, uh, we actually approved. I was <clears throat> dreaming about this for some reason. Um, you weren't really. I know That'll it's happen. Not I, I was, I, I was, I, I, I'd somehow I want to work it. I would suggest we work in the phrase. Um, uh, that this is a commercial grade kitchen. Oh. Because otherwise you see $150,000 and go like, holy. You're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. So I would go back up to but we can't change the article. Right. right. So the existing commercial grade kitchen is antiquated. Yeah, that'll work. This one's near and dear to my heart. Yeah. We don't want to say anything about how it might be used by other um, <clears throat> people, do we? I, I don't I I I don't know. I mean that's a possibility. It, it, it's not a problem. That was one of the reasons it, that we were in favor of it though, I think. Right, but it's not whether it is or isn't, this is going to you're stop. Right. Yeah, you're right. Just adds words. So do we need to make a motion to approve the amended response? 
So is moved. that correct? The existing commercial grade kitchen is antiquated. Oh, it is antiquated. They still have no, the stove. Still has pilot lights. <laughs> really? well, it doesn't what? sound like commercial grade. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was. It was fifty years ago that stove was commercial right. grade. Yeah, but yeah. It's can can we just say not fit for purpose? I mean, I, I, although Instead if you like him. antiquated, that's no. I mean, it's okay if you like antiquated better. I was no longer. Uh, okay, possible? antiquated is fine. Let's leave yeah. that be. <laughs> Fit or not? Do we're not going to buy them a Vulcan. No. I think. Oh, uh, we're probably going to buy them a true or. What about uh. a red Vulcan? Oh, they're so pretty. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna digress for a short moment here. <laughs> um, some of, some no, I'm serious. Some of you um, are some of you were here um, when we had the barefoot black tie. Um, I am. Um, I've already started the planning of the barefoot black tie for um, I believe the dates August nineteenth, um, with um, the proceeds going to this Council on Aging Kitchen. Oh no, nice. that's nice. So, so. But I don't know if uh, um, I don't know who remembers uh, going or being there on the first one, but I will tell you probably the best party this town has ever seen. Wait, where uh, is it? Is it the Council on Aging? No, it'll be down on um, it'll be it's on the beach. It's barefoot black tie. So um, it's a, you know, it's a it's a formal thing. So uh, just for a, an example, I wore a tuxedo top and a bathing suit. Um, most <laughs> women wore gowns. I mean, it's, it's your interpretation of a formal, um, but it is a formal night. Um, and it's, it was such a great time live, hopefully a live band, um, a catered meal. And it's all right on the beach by the, uh, behind the Coast Guard station. So oh, wow. life saving station. When was the last time you did that? Oof. Well, we, I'll tell you, we did, uh, the last time they did it was to raise money for the renovations for the Coast Guard station or the life saving station. So that's how long oh, ago. It was. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Um so sorry, sorry I didn't mean to pull away, but um that was a good just, digression. Yes. That's an you know shameless well, plug, but we're good with that. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll make sure that, that gets included. Um, yeah. dancing, dancing on the beach is good. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so I move that we accept the amended verbiage. I'll second that. Barba. Aye. Bartlett. Aye. Beatty. Aye. Mackin. Aye. Ian. Aye. Vanderslice. Aye. Warren. Aye. Laura. Aye. Carney. Aye. Unanimous. Okay, so we just revisited 16, 17 is this little release funds from transportation network. It's just, it is a copy from last year. Right, and do we wanna do, we, I'm sorry to interrupt Bob. Do we wanna yeah. include that this is the last year that we don't have to do this anymore? Or is that important? Um, oh, we won't have to, we won't have to do this anymore? This, the, why this, you, uh, Am I am I correct about that, Tony? If you're there, I'm sorry, I missed what you said. Uh, is this the last year that we have to do the release funds from Transportation Network? Yes, it is. Do we oh, still yeah, put that in we'll, there. We'll still be getting the funds. Uh, <clears throat> it's just that they the state changed the requirement because we for towns that have so little. I mean, we could add a sentence to this. I mean, uh, to, if we need if we need to tell them it's the last year, we can. But I don't think it's a, I don't think it's I, a necessity. I, I, yeah, we it probably, is going to disappear, and <clears throat> nobody will be the wiser. Right. Exactly. Exactly. All right. I'll make a motion. We accept the verbiage as written. I'll second. Arba. Aye. Bartlett. Aye. Aye. Mackin. Aye. Ian. Aye. Anderslice. Aye. Warren. Aye. Lahora. Aye. Army. Aye. Unanimous on the verbiage. 
Okay, we've already done 18. We have to do 19. We don't have a recommendation on this one. So do we borrow MW? Do we have MWRA borrowing every year? Is this something that we can copy and paste from last year? Yes. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so. Do you want me to read last year's? Can you, yeah. can you throw it in the chat window? Yeah. Why don't we just say, recommend the warrant as read, as written? you know well i mean if if she puts it in the chat he can just copy and paste it right into the right and then we have it and we can vote on it all right well then use the um use the chat that i sent you know half an hour ago <laughs> <laughs> yes that was brief yeah and we and, and it looks like we got the next one too on the chapter 90 highway <laughs> What's what is wrong with last year's? Nothing. 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 Getting it. But what's wrong That's with it. this one? Well, it just shows that I don't know. We don't, <laughs> people, I, it, we don't, we don't need people, to be verbose. But we don't want people to think that we're not staying up late and doing our job, so they'll feel <laughs> sorry for us. And I know, let's but they don't they puts don't puts pay us, us by the word either. They might cut our salary. <laughs> But when I walk around town, people do tell me they feel sorry for me because I'm on FinCom. <laughs> it's nice. Can you tell them how good time you have? Yeah. Yeah. So we, might we get to a um, a FinCon of yeah FinCom article book that would will just <laughs> said we we recommend we don't recommend we recommend we recommend. Right. Well, then <laughs> I don't that, think, I don't you know, think it sounds funny, but the thing is, it's yeah, you know, supposed to do the research and read this stuff at least. So right. if we just say, right. Recommend, all right, right. So Thank here's the thing like? we've we've gone through many, many years of lots and lots of words, lots right? Of words. Right. So last, you know, last year we we reduced the um, the letter. There was really no reason for a five page letter, and sometimes there's really no reason for a six paragraph recommendation. Right, right. We are advising the annual town meeting, and you know, if we can give them some reason, uh, a simple, couple of simple reasons to support or not support something, I mean, yeah, no, I get it's it. helpful to the people when they make their decision about how to vote. I agree. And if, if you read the the bylaw that creates us, it does speak to not just a recommendation but reasons. So the fact that it's, it, oh, go ahead. I, isn't, I just this the one where the, isn't this the one where like it's at an incredibly low rate? Yes. There you yes. go. Zero percent. There you go. I'm sorry, Judy. It's just the, the zero percent resonates. Okay. That does. So that's in the chat, Bob. Yep. Yep. Here it comes. And please check it for oh yeah, I can see a typo already. So that five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand and done zero percent interest rates. See on the yeah. Funds can only be used on the water delivery system. Doesn't a pertinent mean the same kind of as associated? Not a word I use daily, but I'm sure we need it. Right, I just yeah, with what's in there. So if it's a Redundant. And and this is a, this is the one where we can borrow five hundred thousand, but if we only borrow ten thousand to do something, that's all we borrow. So, Bob, do you see there needs to be a space between the and passage, and that should only be passage, not passages. Yeah, but that whole sentence is kind of okay. weird. It's a weird it's, sentence. It's not a good sentence. Yeah, I'd like to take out extremely too uh, out of that. It's not helpful. Say the cost of financing is attractive, <laughs> or just not do it at all. Yeah. Not can we, oh, can we can we actually add some value here and say with 
uh, open market borrowing rates of, Allison's gonna have to help us insert a number, um, the 0% interest rate, something like that. I think people just see the zero percent interest rate. I think, I yeah. they, that's they don't, yeah, I think they, that's enough. Yeah, you don't have to. I think I think that's just adding unwanted, un, unneeded verbiage. I think you see zero interest rate, and you go out and buy the car. Exactly. Right. 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 And will, will will Dave say anything about this? Yeah, we don't. A two -thirds? Yes, he, yeah. he's going to tell us it's two thirds. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And this last sentence doesn't that doesn't apply right no there you go so now I, everybody's happy it's short yep. but it adds value yep. there you go okay uh, i'll make a motion okay i'll second it uh barba aye bartlett aye Beatty. aye mackin aye Ian. aye Andersley. Aye. Warren. Aye. Zahora. Zahora. Aye. Charmy, aye. Unanimous to approve the verbiage. And Judy, I'm sorry I interrupted you. I it's just the zero percent was so uh, you know, I loved it. Oh, oh yeah, not at all, Bob. Yep, you're spot on. Zero percent good. <laughs> My compass. <laughs> All right, so we move on to chapter 90. This should be a copy and paste from prior years, too. So that's... That's there. That's there. Yeah. I mean, do we want to fiddle with this one at all? And isn't this one where they just give us the money? Yeah, it comes through. It, it basically comes to us through the state, through our cherry sheet. For free, sort of. Yep. Every town gets chapter 90 funds. So we should put in there that, again, this is one of those 0% type things where they give us the money. Yay. Allows the town to receive, you know, kind of, what is MGL? Oh, I, that's what I think, is to receive- oh, mass, mass general laws. Right. Chapter 90 funds, sort of something, we want to say something like, are given to all towns by the state. What's the verb we want? That it's not give, but for now, granted, granted, yeah. granted. Oh, I like granted. Very nice. <laughs> That's good. I like that. But don't we have to start out with the? Um... I would just put these funds. You already have Chapter Ninety funding up top. State grants. All towns, these funds. I agree. Yep. This I, allows I, I was going to suggest we lose the existing sentence and substitute in what we're writing right now. Oh, okay. Yep. So, so, okay. Well, we could simply say the state grants all towns chapter 90 funds as this article allows, period. We need, I think we need, we need, something else. We oh, need that right. phrase, but oh, we do, yeah. Yeah, you need that. Yeah. Um, don't we have to start with the I saw that before the finance and advisory committee recommends to um the town approve this article? I think we, we stopped doing that. We decided well, I, I just realized that when when did we stop doing that? I don't know. Because this just tells you what a vote approves. It doesn't say that we actually recommend. Right. We didn't do it last I agree. Year. We didn't do it last year. We didn't? We have it on a couple of the ones up above, I think. Some of them have it. Some of them don't. Do you think we have to start with all, with all of that? Well, I mean. It doesn't say that we don't. It just talks about what it vote would mean, but it doesn't say that we recommend it. 
That's true, well, Jerry. You know, I, I know we're not being paid by the word. But do we get a bonus for using big words? <laughs> <laughs> promulgated and pertinent yeah, yeah pertinent. exactly exactly get a charge against you <laughs> we get paid by the syllable okay i mean i can go in and uh, <laughs> and do we just out of curiosity do we need the state grants all towns chap uh chap um mass law um, you know mass general law chapter 90 funding or is chapter 90 funds good enough we probably need the mass general law uh... i just say mass general law yeah or mgl right then people are going to wonder what it was like i did sort of dumbly yeah. we should we should yeah. have a we almost should have a uh, a director, um, yeah, glossary, uh, a glossary, glossary at the at the beginning or the end, and then we could probably cut down our pages to a lot more. We could also put Massachusetts up there in the article. Oh, we can't. We can't, change. We can't, change, we can't change it. it. Right. We can't change. Yeah. Didi, you want to type that glossary up and uh, send it to me? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, That's fair. yeah, but you only have to do it once. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, you only right. have to do it oh, once. That was well done. Is, it, is this good as is? Can we? Uh, I like. It. Stay good. Looks good to me. I, uh, I, I already want to change it. Paving oh. and. Okay. Yeah, it's necessary. You could say for paving and road and sidewalk repair. Right. So for paving, paving and, and road and sidewalk repair. You might be paving a sidewalk though, Barbara. Like that? Yeah, doesn't that do it? Repairs, uh, plural? For paving yeah. and road and sidewalk, yeah. Sidewalk. That's right. Thank you. And then repairs would be plural. Yeah. So Judy, coming back to the point I think you were making, I apologize. I didn't quite hear it all, but you you were mentioning something about the effect that the the FinCom recommends this article. Is that right? Effective? Don't you think we have to say that? We don't. That's what that's what this thing in bold is. Recommended. Right. Yeah. Okay. And we don't have to say is necessary. We can okay. just say approving this the article. Person that's outside this process, they might not might not get that. I'm not sure we why couldn't we just say what we had before? Approving this article allows the town. Allows, exactly. That's what I was gonna say. Allows no. the town to receive. Is it allows or is it necessary? Is it is this is required? You're not allowed though if you don't approve it. Okay. For the town to receive these funds. Yep. Is required. The four just allows the town to receive these funds. You can omit the four. Yep. Um, I'll make a motion we accept it as written. Second. I'll second that. I heard. Uh, okay. Barba? Aye. Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. Mackin? Aye. Dan? Aye. Anderson? Aye. Warren? Oh, aye. Dehora? Aye. Army? Aye. Unanimous? Aye. To approve the verbiage. Okay. Um... <laughs> Community preservation. Yes. Yes. There was a new article added, sub article. Uh, it, is it included in this? It should be. Should be. 
digitizing. Be the last one. Oh yeah, this is the one with numbers instead of letters. Uh, it's not where is. No, it's not there. So what we're looking Do we really, do we need to do anything except say recommended and that the supporting statement from the CPC? Right, that's that's all we did last year was we wrote recommended. Yeah. Unless there was something that we felt we had to comment on. Okay, so I don't know. It, so I, all right, so so <laughs> I'm gonna scroll through this sort of slowly so you can read along with it um, in the spirit of we're not gonna write our own recommendation, you know, unless there's something that we really feel it necessary to expound on. And and we have voted to recommend all of these except for the new one. Yeah, I put it in the chat. And it says L because these will have letters, not numbers. Do we know where it's going to go? At the end. It's L, the last one. Wait, that's not the right one. Hold it. I got to find your chat thing. Oh, sorry. I didn't get it yet. It is. No. How about that? There it is. There it is. It helps if you hit return. <laughs> oh gosh, it's been a long day. I'm okay. I'm okay, so this is going to go at the very end. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, let's get rid of the chat window. After number 11, like I said, they'll all have letters up. So after each one, we're just going to say recommend? Yep. That's the okay. proposal. Yes. Which is the we one that's new? Yeah, because we have to approve that one. Yes, yeah. the, the one that's sitting there highlighted is the new one. What? what? What is this Allison, one? Allison, does this have to do with the clawbacks? So Allison's no longer with us. Okay. All right. She had to jump off. Okay. Um, I think this is basically it's like unspent funds go into the res automatically go into the reserve. Right. right. It's not clawbacks from previous years. Right. I think it's unspent FY24 funds. Oh, really? Okay. Recommend the town set aside for some historic community for estimated revenues for later appropriation. Any other amount is weird. Yeah, and it's not good to see estimated revenues with no amount, no number. 
Well, I, I think the motion will have the amount in it. Oh. Um, but Allison, we could, we can, if you want to hold off on this one until Thursday, since you yeah. just. I, I'm, I don't understand it. Okay. So we're going to hold off on L. Yeah. Um, the rest of did everyone have a chance to read the rest of these one numbers one through 11? Yes. Yep. And has anybody read them and is comfortable enough to make a motion? Well, I'd like to make a motion that we um, approve these as written. I'll second that. Except for L. Except one, for L. Yep. One through eleven. Right. One through eleven. Okay. Uh, Barbara. Aye. Bartlett. Bartlett. I heard something. Beatty. Aye. McMacken. Aye. Jan. Aye. Andersite. Aye. Warren. Aye. Uhura. Aye. Army, aye. Unanimous aye to approve the verbiage. Okay. Open space. Uh, open space, we don't have anything yet. Is that my so this is this is just to this is just to recommend a committee. And didn't don't we already have an open space committee? This is taking the open space committee, which um, is was previously formed by a town meeting vote, mm -hmm. and then it was like I don't know if you remember it. Kind of took, kind of changed became the open space and recreation plan committee. And over time, there was like a lot of changes to it. So what this is doing is it's actually adding it on into our bylaws. So it doesn't have to be, it'll be a standing committee. Uh, it won't be, you know, recreated every single year. Um, this, recommend, this request came from the current open space and recreation plan committee. What, but this will a, a new section. What does that mean? In the general bylaws. Oh, oh, okay. So Tony, will this be added to not this year because of this article, but will this be then added to the I think it's the last article every year that we approve no, committees? By, no, it'll by putting it into the general into bylaws. By, okay. You know, it won't be doing that anymore. It'll be a standing committee just like yours. So why why don't we take some of those other committees and do that with them? And I, I know I'm asking the question like, you know, but why is it we we wouldn't take those other committees or some of those other committees and make them more permanent so we don't have to do that every year? Um, it's possible to do that not every single one of those committees are, um, I guess I'd have to go through that list one by one and figure I, out I would, which one. I, I would delete without town meeting approval. Just say we'll continue from year to year or say annually period, but that's it. I don't like to see without town meeting approval. I don't like the without. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, open space. Yeah. Question about the language here. Um, while this article makes the op existing open space and recreation plan committee a standing committee, but the new committee is the open space committee. Is it are they losing the mandate for recreation there? Tony, do you know? It's gonna take the place of that committee. Though it'll be in, so we'll still have like a recreation committee that talks about um you know, the, the, I guess the programming and the scheduling, there's all different, 
the park league and that sort of stuff. But when it comes right. to planning for recreational spaces, it'll be done through the open space committee. Okay, so it's a, it's the same basic, uh, you know, process or or reason for a committee. It doesn't change, just the name. So Bob, after from year to year, comma, renamed. Yeah. Open okay. space committee. Yep. No, and just renamed the open space committee. And I don't think you need quotations or what do you call them, those little thingies? Yeah. Just rename the open, take the, rename. I take out, take out, take out the two. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me finish this sentence. Okay, go ahead. So no. Rename nope. the open, so take out, yeah, take no out quote. that. None of those. Yeah, no quote. And also renamed just the open space committee. Yeah, you don't need the committee there, right? No, that's correct. That's right. There you go. That's, that's good. Uh, just another comment. Um, I, I was, for a time, I was on the Open Space and Recreation Plan Committee, and the mandate was to create an Open Space and Recreation Plan. Yes. So the Standing Committee, the Open Space Committee, will probably not be to create a plan, but to plan for open space in the future. Or that's why it isn't so they, called. They. They have created an updated uh, plan. They went through that process. Um, one of the things that they discovered going using MAPC to develop that plan was that a lot of other communities have their open space committee as a standing committee in, in their town's bylaws, kind of like a CONCOM or a planning board or, you know, where we were just, we, that committee, if you look back, it was created through like a town meeting article. It was originally an open space committee. Then it got amended to an open space and recreation plan committee. There was a, it was really like jumbled when you looked back to figure out what was the mission, how many members, who appointed, you know. So this cleans all that up. It won't have to be. Um, you, you're not extending the original creation of it. You're kind of reestablishing it in its own form. I, you know, I don't know if that helps. If that so is, is what is what we just wrote, right? I, I don't know that it is. The responsibilities probably will change, but for the purposes of this recommendation, maybe we don't need it. You could say remain the same instead of will remain. That might make it. Give you a loophole to change it. Motion to approve uh, language of the recommendation. That yeah. Yeah, that that that's fine. The recommendation is accurate. Okay. So Barbara? Aye. Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. McMacken? Aye. Dan? Aye. Anderside? Aye. Warren? Aye. Laura? Aye. Charmy? Aye. Unanimous. All right. Okay. Article 23, feeding wildlife. We did already. If we really wanted to be uh, brief and to the point, our recommendation could just say, as we noted last week, this. Uh, what did we, how did we put yeah, it? Yeah, well, Judy made it shorter and better. No, I mean, it, 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 <laughs> she's good at that. This yeah, legislates about, common sense or something like that. No, we were talking about no, doing no. away with that um, business at the beginning of everyone, the advisory, blah, blah, blah. No, we did not say common sense, although we like that idea. We, Judy, you just kind of edited and made it a lot shorter and said, feeding wildlife bad. <laughs> I don't think I said that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's to the point. Um, Can we do without the first five or six words and say this article increases? Yeah. <laughs> really feel bad for that kid with the French fry feeding the seagull, though. 
I know. <laughs> yeah, but you, you know, you, <laughs> you feed them and then you're stuck. Yeah, you know. a lot of bad habits. Um, this article in increases. How about just? I, I think Judy took out the health, safety, and stuff, and just sort of said something like, "This article right. restricts." You you said it very directly. I don't remember. No, we said health, safety, and welfare up above. I mean, that's what the we article. don't need it here again. I think this it. article this article restricts the feeding of wild animals. Yeah, yeah. that's it. And then we do yeah. have the only community on the North Shore that we liked. Yeah, so that's true. This, this article restricts. Restricts. Right. Excellent. And then right up to the feeding of okay. The feeding of wild animals. I think the trouble is, or take any other action relative there too. But I, mean, I think we had to have that by law. I think we have to have that by law, don't we? we? Do? It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's one, one of those. Yeah. It's a legal those. phrase. Got to have yes. it. <clears throat> we have to have it in the article itself, but not yeah. in our recommendation. Oh, okay. Right. Usually yeah, that's. that's yeah, but I think that, that's perfect. Usually that phrase and the any other sum phrase are usually things that legal counsel or bond counsel add to the article or the motion when we send them it send them those for review you could ditch one of those periods there where your cursor is ditch one of the periods there is only one period there is maybe i have a spot in my computer huh. I don't see an extra period. Oh, I dirty screen. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. Um, We're going to create some very unhappy seagulls. Yeah. Oh, whatever. They'll do uh, fine. I'll make a motion that we accept the uh, verbiage as written. Second. Um, Barbara? Aye. Bartlett? Aye. Beatty? Aye. Mackin? Aye. Sheehan? Aye. Anderslide? Aye. Warren? Aye. Bahora? Aye. Army? Aye. You we don't in. even need of. Restricts yes. feeding. Oil Correct. Yep. That's it. At, okay, so this was one I'm supposed to you know, do. So I am just at some point, we don't need to talk about it tonight because we're getting late, but at some point I need some suggestions or advice on what to do if people ask me to define wild animals. Well, you'll be reading the article and then sitting back down. So it doesn't necessarily need to be you. Yeah, right. Yeah, I just sounds... council can answer that. Really? I'm just going to say Tony can answer that. <laughs> right. Legal, yeah. legal. Right. Tony's it's been defined, through the ringer. It's defined and, in the bylaw, I bet. Yes. Um, oh, I have a low battery. Uh oh. Sorry. I've got to plug this in. Um, All right. So on we go. I, uh, can I just make one statement here? Yeah. Um, yeah. At the end of this, we are saying that you will find this in the appendix. Tonight, we do have to um, agree on what is going to be in the appendices. So we're doing the wildlife verbiage will be in the appendix. Yep. Well, we have to, I mean, if we're saying the wildlife article is if the, the, yeah, if the bylaw verbiage is what we're saying is going to be in there, then we just simply copy that, no? Yes, but I have to know this, I, I mean, this one clearly states it'll be in the appendix. If there's anything else, we need to state that tonight too. Yeah, and I, I think you're going to see when, when we get to article 24 in what Dana's written, he, he makes a similar kind of a statement. So I, I, I would suggest the appendix has to include, you know, uh, the the all of the bylaw wording right beneath these articles. Okay. 
So I'll put them in and then we can look at them all. Um, I'll send them to you as soon as I have them in. And then we can read them all. And we can uh, we could have an appendix for each article. So it would be a well, yeah, each, each one would be separate. So it's a, it's it'll be referenceable for the, not, but not everyone will need one, right? No, no, just the ones that we state that there that is we've further information. Kind of, yeah. Right. Thank you. Okay, so we should move on to article twenty four. And I have a motion that we um, propose Dana for sainthood. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Saint Dana, I appreciate it. Thanks, Deborah. <laughs> Saint Sheehan. Saint Sheehan of Nahan. Well, a couple <laughs> words though. I mean, in writing, this is these these two issues are very important issues to the people of the town. And I, I tried to write the recommendation based on what we all said, not just what I feel or what I've been able to discover through my own research. So, you know, have at it. All right. So I'm I was actually going to propose something we've never done that I'm aware of, which is take a five minute break before we tackle this. I agree, please. Okay. So can, can we make it like an honest to God five minute break, oh, come back at, at like 35 minutes of the hour? Yeah, 828, right, so minutes. seven minutes. Yep. All right. Yeah, seven, <laughs> seven minutes. All right. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.
That gave me a moment to find my glasses. I still can't read that screen. Even with my reading glasses, I can't read that screen. Oh, that's better. Magic. Wow. We're going to go through this anyhow, right? Yeah. All right. So, I hope we're back on. You're back. Yeah, we're here? back. I'm back. Right. Probably should do a quick roll call just to make sure everybody's here. Yeah. So, who is here? Vander Slice is here. Barba is yeah. here. Warren is here. Charmy is here. Judy, are you? Are so you her is here. Hey, thank you. I forgot who else. Dana, Dana, you're important since you wrote this darn thing. Here. Okay. And, and Joy, are you here? Or did... did we lose Joy? Uh, she's on the screen, but she's muted. Okay. Okay. But there's no picture of her. I mean, is Barbara back? Thought she was. Okay. All right, so um, let's just dig into this one. I'm not sure we need this. Oh, I can't edit this. Interesting. Okay, let's see if we can fix it. Yeah, Um, That's odd. You can't even save it as anything. Can't even anything. It's protected. Who sent that to you, Bob? Dana. Dana. Yeah, I didn't protect it. 
Um, oh, shoot. Um, all right, there's more than one way to skin a cat here. <coughs> there you go. Ah, fixed it. Okay, I think we can edit it now. So, so you're just going to have recommend anyway. So that we don't need. We don't need this. Income. That we can get rid of. Get rid of all of it. We yep. have just the recommends. Yep. Right. Article 24 implements common sense bylaws and regulations covering short term rentals. And what I what I'm thinking is is we kind of get rid of everything and then move this phrase where none exists today up here. So it yeah. would read Article 24 implements common sense bylaws and regulations covering short term rentals where none exists today. Yep, I like that. <clears throat> You need a comma after short-term rentals. Okay. Is, is short-term rentals capitalized? For our purposes, it is. Okay. And you right. also um, need to have common sense needs to be hyphenated in so this case. Okay. And bylaws needs to be capitalized. Yeah. Okay, all right. The grammar police. And Dana, congratulations on getting common sense in there. <laughs> <laughs> well done. We all agreed. Yep. Okay, then do we need any nope. of that? I mean, this is especially important. Hold on, hold on. Huh? Um. I did spend some time on this and the brevity is important. <laughs> you know, though brevity is important, it needs to, the people of town need to understand this. So um, uh, uh, this is especially important for residential zones in the heart might might be we might want to add that to that. Yeah, that that was the point, Peter, that I wanted to, to retain the residential. Yep. So, but because yeah. we've, you've already said this business about where none exists today right up above so we don't need that second no 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 you're right right you can get right. rid of all that and then this is especially important yep yeah i would say right good. there yep okay you don't like we, <laughs> you don't have to attribute me oh. come on bob i put that in there just for you. i know you flattered me Mission accomplished. Yeah, there you go. Um, I mean, yeah, I, that was half joking around. Okay, but yeah, I, I don't know that we, I don't know that we would need that second paragraph, but I do like the, like the kind of the bullet points, public process, um, well, I and I, and again, I don't know how much we need to to have. I, I'm not sure we need to define that. Um, don't let by that last sentence or let's get caught up and be better sooner maybe that's yeah i don't think that's needed i don't i i think i agree and we also could simply say we've used these we could simply say we view these proposals as a beginning period unless dana you think we need to have the rest of it well the beginning pretty... yeah i mean uh, i think um when people going to not understand what a beginning is. Like, oh, good point. Okay. And they may not understand how we would make the uh, chain develop it. So no, leave what it. are we going to do I about can... that last sentence? The let's get caught up. Are we keeping that? I'm not so sure we should keep that. I don't that think, a little no, bit... that's more of a, that's more of an, almost like an opinion type sentence. Yeah. And it's also a bit of a wag of the finger. I don't think we need that. <sighs> okay. But you know, let's, let's keep in mind that what we have here is a political document and uh, we want to be factual and try to help the people of the town make these decisions 
Um, so I, I don't know what I'm saying. And we shouldn't. So on that that sentence, we view these proposals as a beginning where Semicolon. amendments will. No, you don't will, need the where. Take the where out. Semi. Yeah. Yep. As a beginning. Amendments will most likely develop to refine our and put in short term rental systems. Don't put don't. That's not a good place to. Um, yeah, I agree. It should be spelled out. I, I don't like the word amendments just because it sort of implies amendments or could imply amendments on the floor. Oh, yes. I, I think it's a good idea. I think we should invite amendments. Uh, this, <laughs> the, both, of, both of the articles are virtually kissing cousins that have been developed by the pro short term rental tiny minority. And we need to hear from the vast majority of citizens who do not want one next to their house. Then that, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think I don't, we're going to hear from them anyway. Yeah, right. So yeah, I. exactly. We don't we don't need to invite because it's going to happen. But if, I don't think we want to appear to be giving this uh, a complete green light and, 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 a, and a strong endorsement. Because well, I don't think we want to endorse what it is. It's it's two two very similar articles that were entirely developed by the pro short term rental minority, both of them. Uh, that's, that's not an accurate statement, Dan. I, yeah, it, I don't think so either. Two of the short term rental would agree with me on this. Well, I don't, the short term. I don't know where you're getting that from, but the short term rental committee is made up of multiple different people five different people and had multiple multiple committee meetings that took that gave a ton of public input from or the opportunity for public input so you certainly the short-term rental citizens petition is you know you could describe that one that way but the the committee i don't think that's a fair fair comment on the committee's work and it's important that something pass here. So I, I understand. If yes, you we do want something to pass. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Tony. We want something to pass, but I don't think we want to give uh, a, a complete seal of endorsement and support on, well, on that's, this. Article. That's what we're here to do, though. Either we recommend it, either we recommend no, it as a committee. Or Dana we crafted a good sentence there, which invites uh, amendments. I think Dana nailed it. It's it's not something we have to be afraid of. I mean, this is a this is the Democrat. Yeah, but you're not you're not implying that there be amendments made on the floor. You're a my you your your um your description here or your sentence here is basically saying that we can that there will be amendments and this is a beginning. And and I agree with that. I I agree that if you start talking about amendments on the floor or this almost this is Future, almost right. as you said inviting somebody to to make an amendment which i will say if you have an amendment it makes it more difficult for it to pass so here's the thing i thought we were going to recommend it as it is so and i thought we voted to do that we already are. so we are. Th but but then if we have recommended to as is and we can't say that we think it's okay but let's have amendments that does that's not that's not the same thing. That's exactly. I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I think Dana captures, I, I think this makes it more saleable. Dana captures the fact that this is a beginning. Exactly. It's the first time we've done something and it was non-existent before. Right, right. No, but I, but you know what? I like, I like the way um, the refinements, we view these yes. proposals as yes, a beginning with you, future f uh, refinements continuing to improve um, the town's uh, improve the short-term rental bylaws uh, it, make it simple don't don't you're i think this is right i would say yeah we view these proposals as a beginning with a with future refinements continuing to approve short-term rental bylaws yeah well, short-term rental bylaws yeah not to split hairs, but I think the way Dana put it was really good. He said, most likely. Yeah, I like the most likely. And I think, you know, this sounds more as if we're endorsing 
necessarily saying we this got to be improved where his most likely was a good yeah, but we i mean if we're making a recommendation we're endorsing it we are endorsing it. we've already said right. we we're going to right. endorse it. And that's why, right yes I know, we, which but, we want to do something is better than nothing on this oh we do want to endorse it but i think he's just saying probably future amendments will you know right I do like the refinements better than amendments. So oh, absolutely yeah. refinements. Yes. And you yeah, need and a comma after beginning. Just to make a, make a point about the amendments. This is the word amendments is um, not a dirty word here. It's it's uh yeah. it's part of the democratic process. And I am hearing from people in the community that intend to make amendments to these. But you know, it's a political process, and we don't want to adopt. Well, what we're saying is that we recognize this, and. Hmm. Is there for everybody to know? Well, then why don't we just take out that sentence that between laws and don't, and just put uh, right after yeah. laws, just says don't sit, let the perfect be the enemy of good. Right. So exactly. We don't need all the words in between. No. That's right. Take out. Uh, take out. Uh, take from there to systems. There yeah. you go. Take that out. That goes away. And there. I just I don't understand the, the objection, but that if if you want just basically that, I mean. Oh, I, I I I think I don't I don't think we've we've changed your I don't think we've changed context. your message your context that much. We've refined it, and and I I think refinement is a better word than am, amendment. Uh, yes, you're right, Dana. It is part of the political process, but I believe future refinements is a better description yes refinements are going to take amendments but i think there's you know um i think the word refinement works better i agree i hear what you're saying everybody i just don't see that there's a problem with it but you know i think good. people are going to propose amendments so i don't think we have to worry about that not happening and i don't think that we're in a position to tell people they should propose amendments. That should happen democratically. Right. So refinements just lets them know that it's most likely. Okay, I mean, we wanna back away from it, that's fine. Okay. And I'm... Just the amendments, this so is you... what we got is good now. We don't need the these proposals, you so... can leave it out, yeah. Take that so, out. Right. I'm just, I was suggesting we substitute this article for these proposals. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Yep. Yep. I'm good with it. Um, and you continue on with the public process, annual licensing. Um, I can't see what else, but you you're making a a statement for each. Yeah, you're making a statement at each one of these. Correct, Dana. That's your intent. Yeah, these these numbered items hit the points that we discussed in our committee meeting last week. Okay, and um, attempt to to describe them a little bit to the to the voters of the town as they make up their mind about these articles. You think the "Don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good" implies anything about the other one being an enemy and not good? Which, that's what it did do. I know, but I mean, maybe wanna, maybe we don't. Yeah, it might. Do we want to do that? that? I'm just thinking we don't want to be too in your face. Yeah, we, Barbara, I, I I'm not I'm not excited about that. Those words either. I just put those in there, half joking around for Bob. Yeah, let's take them I out. Knew because, take them out. Yeah, thanks, Barbara. Yeah, that's a good idea. But uh, but I wanted to Bob Bob to know that I was listening to him when he said them. Yeah. All right. So now we move down to the public process only because this is pretty lengthy and we need to get moving along or we'll be here all night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're actually the, coming up. Absolutely right. It's just a bit long. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's a long meeting. I mean, this is kind of this is the reality of FinCom, right, Bob? Yeah. Yes. Unfortunately. But, uh, but we also have Thursday. Right. Yep. We don't want to be deliberating on Thursday. No, oh, good point. So, possible. I, I, 
why don't we keep going till 9.30, see where we are. If we're near the end at 9.30, we'll keep going till we finish this article. And if not, we'll just uh, kind of draw a line and pick it up on Thursday. Right. All right, so a short-term rental bylaw advisory committee was created to study, get rid of short-term rentals. Um, Hold on a second. Hold on. Um, I just wanted to pronounce that, and that's Street Block. <laughs> Street Block. Okay. Is that what they're calling themselves? No, I, I did. Oh, that. that's. So was created to study. You don't need short-term rentals. It's you don't need that to study and develop these bylaws. Yeah, good. Right. We already right. we already know it's about short-term rentals. Right. right. Good. To study and develop these bylaws and re regulations, get rid yeah, of proposals. Yeah, I don't think you need proposals. You don't need yeah. proposals. It 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 it. it, it Actually, that's not not quite correct. Why? A short-term rental bylaw advisory committee was created to study and develop these bylaws and regulations. Uh -huh. to study the issue and develop the bylaws and regulations. Study the issues, yep, and develop. Yeah, issues, plural. Right, and then it... Um, no, you don't need related. Oh, no, related study, to, you don't study need Study the that. issues. So I don't think it. we need it attempted. I think you just go through compromise and yeah. consensus. Yeah, good point. To create um, it, it through compromise and consensus, it creates it created a, it, it created a system to work for the greater good of Nahant and future generations. Yes, I think it's creates. Okay, created. Create. Yeah, well, yeah, creates is fine. So I mean, we're just basically rewarding it. Uh, uh, yeah. With the value. yeah. We're. we're, well, we're doing. We're, we, this is exactly what we did on all the other stuff, Dana. We're you, not um, changing the content. We're just making it briefer. Right. I know, the, the pride of authorship is tough to... I, yeah, it is. You got to swallow your pride on this one, Dana. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, but I spent a lot of time on it. And just to like no, to, I, to shoot yeah. from the hip and take it out. It's just We need to think about it just before we do that. So. Well, no, but we're again, we're just... It, we're, we're not, we're not anything changing out. any... Yeah, we're not... We're just... You know, to think of it as spell check. Okay. Take, out the it. take out it. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, it, just take out. There you go. Attempt. Take out it. Just attempted directly. It's just attempted. Yeah. Take out yeah. the it. There you go. And yeah, I think I, you can I, do. I'm, I'm going to anticipate what Peter's going to say to create a system. Get rid create of the FT. A system to work. Yeah work yeah yeah exactly a system board of selectmen whoops sorry sorry and when are we going to get to us to be a select board uh, stay focused now <laughs> i don't like the word attempted okay. i don't either I, I, I'm crafted. Wait, wait, wait. What about a, a public process with the Board of Selectmen, Planning Board, and the Zoning Board of Appeals? Crafted is nice. I don't think you even need anything. They created through compromise and consensus. Right. I like created it. Through, yep, created through compromise yeah, and consensus. Uh, uh, a system. Created. A system. created. No. Created the proposed. No, created, I think, this is so, good. Created through compromise and consensus. A, a short-term rental system. No, just a system. Just a, a system, system to oh. work for the greater good, greater good of Nahant and future generations. Okay. I, I um. Well, that I mean, uh, I'm not right. so th through this compromise process, it, it seems it seems like it's reading that a little differently. But all right, go ahead. That's fine. All the same, 
comma, it is generous to existing short-term rental operators. That's um, an opinion. Right. Yeah. I would. Well, certainly I would, it is. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How about, and I know this may be a, a yeah. little wordy, but so I'm going to, uh, a public process with the Board of Selectmen, Planning Board, and the Zoning Board of Appeals created through compromising consensus, a system to work for the greater good of Nahant and future generations while being fair to existing rental operators. A little long. A little yeah, long, but, but yeah, that's okay. Really anyway, a lot, of, a lot of sentences in there. Yeah. I think fair is well, good. You know, I think it's very, it's still very subjective, but yeah. yeah. While trying to be fair. Well, oh, well, we don't know. No. I, I, but if whatever you say is going to make somebody mad, so. Um, we don't have to this be. Is pretty good. We don't have to be afraid of of opinions. I mean, that's no. what that's what they're paying us for. That's right. That's right. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I'm going in overtime. Just saying. Okay, so I, I'd like to just say one more thing about um, this particular article. It is quite generous to the existing short-term rental operators. They you know, may not see it that way. It's they they don't, but they, they, well, they, they I want to write their own but, Right, um, there's a trouble. You think it is, they they don't. So it's, is, it's, it's fair the, is in the middle. We think it's fair. But it was a it was a consideration that that committee uh, kept in mind. So I think it's it's kosher mm -hmm. to say. I I agree that to leave it in, um, but fair is fair is subjective, you know. Somebody's right. gonna somebody's always gonna be mad. To accommodate, um, to that's not the right word. No. Um, I think that if you guys have a difference in opinion, expressing that is important. Um, implying that the committee, you know put out a biased uh, subject, you know, a biased product is a different message that is going to, you know, potentially risk something from passing. But if you disagree with what the committee put out, that's, of course, that's, you know, you guys should provide that opinion. But, you know, I, I just think that that kind of suggesting uh, you know, that the short-term rental committee just handed something out in favor of existing short-term rentals. Um, and that's not really what they did. Well, you know, Tony, when we compare what we're doing to other cities and towns in the region, you know, we are being very generous with these operators. We're allowing growth in, in the program. Well, then you need to put that to put it in context. Maybe we should you should say that we should say that in that sentence. Can, it's, it's, can that, I it's said later that, on. I mean, well, it is it is later on. Yeah, I mean, the, can, the, can I suggest that instead of being fair to existing short term rental operators, um, you know, work for the greater good of Nahant future generations, while acknowledging that short term rental units currently exist. Or just say while acknowledging existing short-term rental operators. Mm. Yeah. I just don't have Dana. I don't know where the data, the data you're using to make that opinion. If you're going to make that opinion, make it with some data. Show. Yeah, but Dana towns, has that know, opinion. What percentage, what percentage of housing units? in other communities, you know, what, what's the percentage of housing units that other communities use compared to what they're putting out? If so it's you know, significantly less, you your take on it, but you know, that we have deliberated as a committee and we're trying to craft our recommendation. Um, you know, there's gonna be a variance of opinion within our committee. Exactly, um, and, that, and that's, the, so that's the kind of the point that, that Dana, thinks it's, Dana thinks it's generous. I don't know if there's others that think it's generous. I think it's fair. Like, mm -hmm. so it, it, like we have to craft a, a, we have to have a compromise 
um, with Agreed. the wording so that it represents the feelings of the committee. All right, no, no doubt, Peter. And like, I'm not wedded to the word generous, um, but I, I just feel like it, in the same sentence, it just, it confuses the issue and it doesn't help people understand it. So if we can just uh, put it in there, there's no fair. Make the message to you that's not, you know, I'm not a member of the committee, so I understand where you're coming from. I just have seen how much work has gone into this and, you know, I'm just right. concerned about language. You know, this, your book is what people get in the mail. It's the best way to educate people about what they're going to be voting on at town meeting. And I just don't want, you know, a year's worth of work to um, be ignored. Do we want to say while being fair to all short-term rental operators? Oh, I would just like to say while acknowledging okay. existing acknowledging, operators. Acknowledging means nothing though. Right. Yeah, it, well, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't show that we're actually making some changes. So oh. being fair to all short-term rental operators, that's not saying existing, that's not saying future. It's saying oh, I see, yeah. Well, how about just none? Of, Fair if, to short-term rental operators. There you go. Yeah, I think so, fair okay. is pretty um is pretty benign. I don't. I mean, I don't. I think it's pretty neutral. I agree. Yeah, that's that was my intent. Is that you know I I don't I don't know. I'm not a I'm not an operator. I'm not you know. I think it I I I, I yeah. It's a benign word. It's not generous. It's not hurting. It's not you know. But it's more than acknowledging, and I agree. Right. We need a yeah. more. So, can I propose a what a phrase here? A okay. system to protect the hunt homeowners while being fair to short-term rental. Oh, yeah. I like that. It's much more specific. Yep. Yes. So, would that be an addition to? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why don't, why don't you do this? Well, let me let me yeah. put it this, i think that was great because it implies otherwise that the other folks are working against the greater good and i don't want to imply that it shows both sides in one sentence very nicely oh, right. yes it yep. protects the homeowners but it doesn't compromise it doesn't wreck the operators right, right. yeah and that's what the while is doing there it's like an although yeah i think right. that's excellent uh oh, what did I do? System to protect the homeowners. Yeah, you're re yeah to protect and just take out what you've got highlighted there. Take that out. Well, being okay. fair to short term. That's what I thought I was yeah, doing. Yeah, take out work whatever, for the whatever I good, did. That's fine. Yeah, whatever I did, it wasn't. And you might want to keep that work for the greater good in the hunt in the future generations because we may want to use it someplace else in here. Because it is a maybe not. Yeah. There you go. Um, I did it again. Oh, right. you're, you're, it's, it's, it's indenting it instead of deleting. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Boy, I've had a bad time. Oh, We're taking yeah. out the greater good, member. I know, I, yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm, just, I'm, I'm wrestling with the word. I'm sorry. Control X. He's having, he's having really difficult time with, um, with word. I, I can relate to that. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, please, I hate computers. Okay, like that. Yeah. Okay. A That's public it. process and, with and the Board of Selectmen Planning Board and that. the Zoning Board created through compromise and consensus a system to protect the homeowners while being fair to short term rental operators. I like Good. it. Good. Yep. Complete hyphenate short term. Yeah. Um, I, we have actually we didn't up above. We haven't we, so far. Yeah, we haven't so far. You well, know, I, I object to the term uh, rental bylaw is hyphenated. So it's to protect the hot residents, not just the homeowners. Good, uh, good point. It is. Yep. Yeah. Good uh, this article provides a mechanism for the hunters to have ongoing input. To this developing situation. I think it's better, Dan, just to leave it the way it is. It's a little simpler. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is, so, this is. 
All right, so we now have the the next paragraph because I th I like that one. Do we even need this paragraph though? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Some of it is redundant. Yeah. However, I like there are checks and balances in the proposal, um, and it offers the hot residents access to the pro to the permitting and licensing process. Mm -hmm. I like yep. I like that because it's yep. it's definitely providing more information of why we are recommending it. Yep. I, I don't understand the thing about FinCon prefers. What, what's that getting at? Well, be it's um, Deborah. It's kind of a comparison and contrast to Article Twenty Five. Um, oh, so right. It's, yeah, but you it's, haven't mentioned twenty five, so that we don't know what you're talking. What's well, being yeah. Maybe, to. I mean, this is what we've talked about. I, I know, but when you talk about Finco <clears throat> prefers a process of negotiation compromise, I just it, it's almost you don't protest too much or something. It's almost condescending, Dan, is how I read it. I thought, well, of course they do. What other ways do we been come going to prefer hitting people with a stick? So um, I think you're right. But well, you know, it, mind you, it's nine o'clock. Things hit me differently at nine o'clock than they do at seven o'clock in the morning. I think maybe that morning. sentence doesn't belong there. I think maybe Judy's onto something. But it's just like by not saying it doesn't mean that that's what we do. I mean, say well, you it. did say up above compromise right. and consensus. Right. Up above, we have compromise and consensus, yep. and um, <clears throat> we have. I think we should keep the checks and balances. Checks and balances, we should keep. It update. offers access to the right, permanent so I, license. I, I, I like that one too. Yeah. I like access. Yeah. I think it's just that the, the, the FinCom prefers sentences a little bit. Yeah, I would just simply say there are checks and balances in this proposal. Right. Um, so, so stop, 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 stop. Re read the way it is now. I moved those two sentences that everyone seemed to like oh, and yes. appended them on the end. And then yeah. I would suggest we just drop all the rest of Absolutely. I agree. I Yep. Except Peter likes the greater good, so I'm going to keep uh, it just, just in case. Um, <laughs> Why are you keeping the greater good? What's it doing Why floating around it? there? I'm just, uh, he's, he's appeasing me. <laughs> so, <laughs> Which we don't have to, but um, yeah. I don't, I, want, I, I don't want greater good. Sorry. No, I, I don't either. I think that should be gone. Well, he, uh, he, uh, well, it, it wouldn't be where it is. Yeah, it's certainly not where it's. Right. Well, I know, but I don't know. Right. It just, it, it's um, what somebody said the other day. It's too much opinion and it's kind of right, preachy. Right. preachy. It's a little preachy. It's a little preachy. It's a little preachy. Just a little. <laughs> hey, so um, the, the sentence was objected to. FinCom prefers a process of negotiating compromise for a bylaw affecting housing, <clears throat> crucial issue to the entire not community and its future. Is that the preachy part? I mean- No, it's, the preachy part it's was- the future generations part that's a little preachy. Okay. No, but also the part about FinCom prefers. Well, I don't think that's preachy, but I think that's been said because we talked about negotiation, compromise and whatever up above. And Dana, I completely agree with the sentiments. It's just, I think our, I, our wording. Thank you, Bob. Needs to be a little bit straightforward, more straightforward, and a little less value laden here. Although I agree with your values, and I think they are our values. Yeah, I think we talked about that. And we talked it, about that. Yeah, meeting. yeah, we did. This says it very straightforwardly. Number one looks excellent. What's that? I, think, I like number one the way we have it. Yep, yep. Yeah, I, I do too. I do too. Um, I, I think um, um, I think for annual licensing for the number two thing, um, I don't think you need Article Twenty Four. I think it's um, this article empowers the Board of Selectmen to create and refine working regulations 
I don't know that you need for short term Thank rentals, you. but I, do I don't mind that. Yeah, that's fine. I think that clarifies it. Uh, I think that the thing that I do is I take annual out of all caps. Annual. I'm sure you're not on that sentence yet. And I would prefer that we not refer to ourselves by saying, let me see that sentence. The POS has committed to the FinCom through the town administrator to enact an annual licensing. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. This no. uh, yes, yes, and no. Yes, and no. Yeah. Yeah, that's not something uh, I think we can put in. Yes, I can tell you that the board of selectmen have always felt like it would be an annual licensing requirement in their regs. Um, we haven't gone into depth conversations about what those regulations are going to be, but those are the things that you know we've discussed as short-term rental committee has been going through their process. Honestly, I think the short-term rental committee uh, by accident didn't include the word annual. Um, that was what they've always kind of been suggesting. So I can tell you that I think that the, that the Board of Selectmen support it. If the FinCom wants to put in there that they are recommending that the Board of Selectmen include yes. a requirement to renew your license annually in their future regulations i think that's perfectly fine to put it in there and ultimately i think the selectmen are going to do it anyways um but i don't have like an official the board of selectmen haven't had any sort of official conversation related to the regulations yet so i'm a little nervous <laughs> about the wording you have in there yeah, yeah I, I, I i i I appreciate that, and I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but this is what the discussion was was about. Or, you know, when we were talking about the permit and the licensing Did, requirements, and I but, said, "You guys are welcome to put in your recommendation that you would like to see the the selectmen to include that in their regulations, and that they would likely be on board with it." I mean, it's right. kind unless of to me. unless I heard the selectmen say we guarantee we're going to put in i don't think we can say they have committed to us i mean i i, I agree peter we can't say that you can't say they've committed i mean if you had a conversation dana and they committed to you that's they they, they committed to you but they have not committed to the finance and advisory committee because they haven't committed to me and it's, it's the your advisory saying it's well the, the thing is hold on committee. the Tony, in our meetings, assured us that there was going to be this licensing requirement on an annual basis and that we didn't need to have the special permit expire. I mean, didn't we all listen to that and hear that? Well, I mean, we, put it, I'm not but gonna, him, but I'm Tony saying that to us doesn't, mm -hmm. I don't believe that e equates to the Board of Selectmen committing to us. I agree. Uh, and I don't want to create a situation that makes it some kind of a tension there because they didn't come to us and say they'd committed to that. No, Tony. Uh, some, we could put uh, just what somebody said a minute ago that we recommend. Right, it's right there. I mean, I like... I, I, yeah, I think we said it, period. But we didn't exactly, Barbara. Everything. I think we've said it. We we support it. We want people to vote for this, and the beauty of the of it is it has an ongoing process that uh, keeps the thing straight from becoming uh, creating unwanted uh, nuisances. But don't we want to recommend the annual? Don't we say that annual licensing? Oh, yes. annual license Somewhere we should, can say that. We that, do. That's in the uh, in the article, isn't it? It's right oh, here. Yeah, oh, sorry. That, that's part of the article. It's, not, no, it's, it's, in, the, it's not. in our comments. It's not in the article. Right. We say it right there. Right. That's our response. Not in the article. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, Rick, no, we, we do we, say it. I'm sorry. We do say it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Bob, can I make one little um, Absolutely. edit? We are the advisory and finance committee. Correct. Mm -hmm.
Thank you. So we're so, going to drop that next sentence. Is that correct? The, the BOS has yeah. committed. So I'm, yeah, I'm let's suggesting this, this, gets dropped. this gets dropped. Like that. Like so that. that goes, goes, and, and, and yep. No problem. And, and, and for Dana's, for Dana's point, Dana's if you wanted to that sentence of uh, the advisory violence committee recommends that the board of selectmen include in their short-term rental regulations an annual licensing requirement so you could put it even more direct to the board that makes of it, yeah i like that that makes it yeah the reason i didn't is that we've already told them up here told them Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think it's a I point of emphasis, that, and I agree yeah. with Tony's edit. So it's. Okay. I agree with it too. It's enough the way you, no, we have it. Way. Include. Include. In. in. include an annual licensing requirement. There you go. There you go. I like the next parts. I'd like to get the thought in, in right. there, though, that, that the license can be rescinded at any time, mm -hmm. as well as the annual review. So the Board of Selectmen may rescind, right? I don't, I'm just kind of dumping words yeah. on a page right yeah. now. Something like that. If there are reported problems, uh, the ones that are found in an <clears throat> well, well, you could. Make it a little more general. You could say this provides for an annual review of each short term rental process, which may result in the license not being renewed. That way, we don't have to define problems. They just non-renewal or something. It just this provides for an annual review, which may result. Oh, you could say which may result in non-renewal. Yep. We we have to get license in there. Because it's not the rental property that's going to be non renewed. It's going to be this provides for an annual review of each short term rental property license. Isn't it a light license has to go in there? 
or so which may, just, which may result of the not property of the license of the property yeah or of the license it's the license yeah the pro that's good. property's still going to be there they right. don't renew may result in license non-renewal which may result in license non-renewal. Read, read, read the whole license sentence. Goes there read the whole, read the whole sentence right now. Okay. Read the whole, read the whole sentence right now. <laughs> oh, that, that works. Yep, that's good. Yep. So the license, and it's not, the license. it's not the license should also be rescinded. Good. Could. Or like could. It's or could. could. It's could. Or can. Or can. Or may. Or may. May. May is good. May is good. May is good. June is better. June is better. Mm -hmm. Are you guys Are hearing you guys an echo good? on your side? Yep, we yeah. developed an echo for sure. Yeah. Mostly when Tony speaks. No, I hear it when I speak. I hear it when I speak. What's well, gone now? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's important to say that there's no such process today. We said before that it didn't exist, but this should be repeated. It, yeah, this emphasizes it. Peter, yep. you're muted. How did, how did you know I was speaking? I saw your lips moving. <laughs> um, I really like number three, the, the title though, uh, to limit community impact and residential displacement, because it's really, that's the crux of, you know, that limit. So what I, I do like that. Residential displacement is if, if all these, people come in and buy up property in the hunt oh, right. to make Airbnb, then residents won't have a place to live. I guess that's true. Um, it's the elimination of, of a unit being used for long-term housing. Right. For short term. Right. So you want you could put in long term. So to limit community impact and long term residential displacement. Perfect. <clears throat> yeah. That hyphen. Um, yeah, hung, hyphenated. Made me very sensitive to hyphenation. <laughs> <laughs> Hyphenate. <laughs> Can we take out that S T R B L A C? <laughs> the stir block? Yeah. Stir block. Stir block. Um, and, and the other thing is. Do we, I guess in this case, we're starting anew, so we need to. So the short-term rental bylaw advisory committee proposes a package of bylaws and regulations create a maximum number of short-term rental units. It wouldn't be permanent, right? Oh. The committee, um, the package um, of bylaws uh, creates a maximum number. Yeah, I almost like the second paragraph. So if the second paragraph was Article 24 <laughs> will create bylaws and regulations limiting the maximum number of short-term housing units to 4% of the total housing units in the hunt. I like that. 
Yeah, why would you do both paragraphs? These bylaws allow for growth in short-term rentals from the current level of approximately 48 units to a maximum of 64 units, period. Yep. We don't need the first paragraph. Right, but I, I there is a sentence in there that's kind of, sorry, the Bruins just scored. <laughs> um, the, why, why are you sorry about that? Yeah, no, no, I was, I, I lost my whole train of thought. Um, um, let's see. Um, <laughs> the board of selectmen can make a cap of less than 4% through executive <laughs> action. The, the, I, I think that's an important thing to have in there. As well as there, there is no cap today in the bylaws. So exactly. <laughs> That's really important. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yes. It's, so I, I agree with you that. The, uh, oh, go ahead, Tony. I was just going to say a lot. Of, the importance of that is even more significant with it being a percentage in the bylaw, because if we're going to be developing additional housing units in the future, then that number of licenses would go up right. as this being a percentage. By giving right. the selectmen the ability to cap, to be, you know, they could keep it at 64 units, in other words, even if 4% ends up equaling 70 units. Do you know what I mean? Right, yeah. right. Yep, yep, yep. Exactly. But realistically, but I, I, the, the total number is not going to go up that much. No, no, no. But I, I'm just saying. I think that's that was part of the that was part of the reasoning for the recommendation. Well, from the conversation at the time. So, I think you're right on the second paragraph being, and then grabbing a couple of points from the the first paragraph. And Dana, where did you get the total housing units of one thousand six hundred and eighty? Uh, from the planning board. I don't think, do we need that? Because when yes. I do a mailing, it's far less than that when I get the labels from. The These clerk. are housing units, not houses, so. No, this would, yeah, this would be residences, not just, it's the voter list. Well, it's the residence list. I would check with I, I would check with the clerk on that. Confirm. I don't think I don't think we need it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you have approximately forty-eight units to a maximum of approximately sixty-four units. You got to use approximately so that there's no one's going to pin you to the exact number. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not like the number isn't factual. It's it's an estimate and it's going to change. So it doesn't harm what we're trying to get across here. But. I, no, I know, but I don't, I just, I think it's um, information that I don't know that we need to put it in there, but. Are we capitalizing All right, so ignore this first paragraph. Yeah. Yep. I'm good with it. Okay. We could. We could uh, put a, like a parenthesis there saying that would be a 33% growth in short-term rental units if we wanted to. Oh, I yeah, like that. Yeah. Bob, I did want to make that point about these regulations allowing a significant level of growth. Although some in town think that that 64 cap um, is going to be used up in the first year. Developers and they'll get the, the permits and it's, it's going to be capped out. Probably. Yeah. I mean, if if I had a type of situation where I could do an Airbnb, I would be applying for a permit right now. 
Yeah, and, so and, that and it wouldn't get shut out. Back to the point we talked at length about was uh, this is a, I think a generous concession to operators short term rental units. So right, there you go. And they didn't want any cap. No. Right. Oh, you mean the citizen petition? Yeah. 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 Right. Exactly. What did we agree about nine thirty? Um, I was about what to say we so we are, I think we're at what we agreed as our time. Yeah. Um, we have just this. Is there any more after this number four? No. That's no, should no. we just no, should we it? just finish yeah. this one? All right. Quickly. Okay. okay. I mean, a, a key difference between Article Twenty Four and Article Twenty Five. Peter, I'm sorry to interrupt you here, but yep. we were we are not saving this anywhere. I think. I oh think dear. I think it's prudent. Saved. Yeah. Is it not <laughs> us? Thought it was. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'll read through it. Um, a key difference between Article Twenty Four and Twenty Five is for, is the requirement for a special permit from the Zoning Board of Appeals. This bylaw requires a special permit from the Zoning Board. Citizen petition does not require a special permit from the Zoning Board of Appeals. Not residents can attend a Zoning Board meeting and comment or object to a special permit because of community impact or other reasons. And these next two bullets try to make the point that it's not all short-term rentals, just those that are non-owner occupied. Important. So should we put that where it says is the requirement for a special permit for non-owner occupied units? Right, I think we have to. Yeah. Okay. And can we play take out street black? <laughs> Please, thank you. <laughs> we should have taken more care when we named the committee so that when it became an acronym, it was something clever. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, between, between this. Right. Article. Is the requirement for a special permit requirement for special permit for non-owner occupied unit. It's probably hyphenated, isn't it? Yep. And can we add another hyphen to that too, yeah. Julie? Um, the special a special permit only for non-owner occupied. Yeah, I think the only is important. I yep. agree. Yes. Yep. 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 You need another hyphen before occupied. <clears throat> You're calling for it. Interesting. Um. So the next sentence is redundant. Yeah, I agree. But it's important to say that the citizen petition does not. I don't think we need to. Right. It doesn't need to be all capped though. Yeah. We don't have to shout it. Exactly. A citizen petition. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, right. There you go. Um, I would say instead of saying Nahan residents can attend, I would say I would that say this that allows this for a public process. Yeah, Peter, though, the um, the audience of this is the people of the town that aren't all dialed in on you know the nuances of these two two bills. So if I think it's important that they understand that they have a voice 
that they can go in and not just I, like I think Dana's simpler language was good. More direct. What not not saying allows for a public process? No, the, the thing he did for this did current, current sentence. Current sentence. What about the people what being able to attend? Oh, you think that's good? I yeah, I get that. I liked Dana's. I would, I would, I, and I would get rid of, um, well, uh, not residents well, can attend, yeah. attend the like zoning board of appeal and provide, and provide input. In yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. No, I, I'm not following exactly. Where are we going with this? So not just, residents can attend a zoning board of, can attend the zoning board of appeals meeting and provide input. Right. And instead of comments object. or provide input basically lets you do both yep you can you can agree to it or you can reject it right I, I'm, I'm just trying to make it a little more streamlined yep i like that peter is it is it Is it all Omaha residents or is it just the butters? And honestly, I, I any pause, no any I pause because I it may not be important. Any any person, any Nahant resident can go in front of the zoning, can go to a public hearing that the zoning, because that's what they are, the zoning yeah. boards are public hearing and make and, and provide input. Oh, you don't have to be in a butter. You do not have to be in a butter. I mean, the the. So as a, I think as that a, so that sentence is good then because that's definitely yeah. a big concern that came up during the short term rental committee process of the hot residents wanting to have the ability to provide input on that stuff. So that sentence is important. Yeah. Yeah, and and I mean. Obviously, if you are in a butter, um, not to say that the zoning board, you know, the zoning board does, you know, kind of weigh the fact that you're in a butter and it, it, and the decision directly affects you. Whereas if, you know, somebody from Little Nahant went over and was complaining about something on Tudor Beach, it would, you know, it, it, yeah. it's. Uh, I think it needs to read, um, can attend, not take the the out. Can attend zoning yeah. board of appeals yeah. meetings. Yep. I was going to say the same thing. Say the same thing. And then I think I would just say and provide input. I don't think you need to the special permit deliberations because they might want to provide input about other things. It's also implied it's already also that that's what they're going to talk about. Already that that's what they're going to talk about. Right. Oh, so I would take out to the special permit oh, deliberations. Just mm -hmm. saying, input. Guys, input. how much more of this do we have? I've started. To, I've, I've, fa I've faded. That's, that's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. That's it. Oh, we should keep this sentence at the end. We should keep this sentence at the end. Yep. Here we go again with the. the uh... Yeah. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. Whoops, whoops. So what happened? What happened? What happened to what? The bullets. We don't need bullets, I don't think. Oh, I think we don't have them anywhere else in our um in the warrant or in any, any of our recommendations. For for people that aren't gonna that aren't gonna read every every sentence every sentence matters, but matters, but I think short paragraphs such as this are better than bullets. Personally, I like short paragraphs. Why do we need to talk about time being of the essence? I think that if we just said the haunt is an outlier, yeah, they we're don't. We're going to make the decision one way or the other, right? I, again, once again, it's a point where um, if this doesn't pass this year, there's going to be another year of short-term rentals with no regulations. So time time of the essence means like trying to lead the people 
through the conclusions here so that they can, uh, if they feel inclined to support it. So this year, you know. I get that. So do we want that back? Maybe uh, something like passing I, it now. You could say passing this, well. I mean, with the competing, with the competing articles, I, I just feel like it's important. Um, to yeah, somehow make the point to pass this article this year. And I think you're right. That's better. Um, immediate action now is important. Well, now it's, it's obvious. Yeah, is important. Because Nahand is an outlier, right? But maybe you could just say important semicolon. Nahand is an outlier. I agree. I agree. Oh, yeah. I like the semicolon too. That's always one of my favorites. <laughs> I love semicolons. They I'm a make fan as well. Fan as well. They make everybody think you're smart, often smarter <laughs> than you are. But I mean, it's the kind of thing you want to put one in. You want to tell your kid to put one in their college, at least one in their college essay. <laughs> I, got, it, I got to tell you, it's I mean, getting really late when you start talking about your love for semicolons. It oh, is no. late. I'm sorry. I didn't do that. <laughs> I, didn't I, like that. Do that. I did that. I did that. I like the snort term. Snort term. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you need after communities, you need a witch. They need a what? A witch. Need a witch. Among a witch. surrounding coastal communities, huh? which have. Right? I'm a witch. I'm a witch. <laughs> yeah, witch. Exactly. The Wicked Witch. There you go. Yep. And then, and I'm, then I'm not wild about not wild about this. The next sentence? No. No. Well, maybe we should talk about um, the Howe Estate and how it's uh, going to be short-term rentals. You know that for sure? Not more than anybody else does, but did it not just sell? It did sell. It did. So, uh, yeah. We can't call that out if it's not so. Can't call it out. It, I, yeah, I, you I, don't I, have I, a I, fact. It 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 <laughs> it sold, but it didn't. It, I mean, right. nobody said that there was it was going to be a short term rental. Right. It it basically sold to a uh, a developer who focuses on restoring old properties. Right. Well, how is that a fact? He did. He did, he did restore. It's not a factor. Well, you're stating it's a fact. He did restore an old property well, for his own use. So right. Maybe well, yeah. I mean, there, right. there's. We don't have. We don't have a fact that any right. facts that say it's going to be short-term rental. Is my point. No, right. the, it's not, and it's not in here. But um, the point is, the developers are coming to Naha, and they are developing short-term rentals. Well, do we want to say something about um, Nahant is because they're more restrictive, Nahant is, is more uh, attractive? No, I, I, we would be really careful about conjecture. Uh, it, uh, it, it, it may be true. It feels true, but I, I haven't seen anything. Right. I... I uh... I'll I'll just add in, you know, Dana, I, I know your point and I, and I don't necessarily disagree with it. I'll just say that, um, you know, the likelihood of, of us being challenged legally on short-term rentals down the road is, isn't insignificant. And so, you know, what you guys put in this book and, you know, the reason for passing an article if you if it if it's if it seems like you're doing it to prevent something in the future you know that isn't current if you get a little too specific about certain types of things it could negatively impact us down the road if we ever end right. up in that situation but i it's agree important. with you if there's a way to say it without being so specific right um, I, i'm i'm Tony, I wanted to take your feedback 
in the sense that, you know, we I think we all here want to try to pass, get this article to pass and to, the town yeah. understand how important it is. So to the extent that, um, that that sentence detracts from that, yeah, take it out. So I'm all for it. Right. Um, I think we're getting near the end. So a question, Tony, to you. Should we run this language pie council? Um, or because of my last comment, you mean? Yes. Uh, I can very quickly and um, have it back, you know, any comments from them back to you for Thursday. Because yeah, Thursday, all we'd have to do is vote. Right. We would. We wouldn't have to, you know, we'd read through it and that's it. Okay. We can vote on it now and then amend it, but. But wait till Thursday. Yeah. All right. So, so I will take this and email it to everybody for you to sleep on until Thursday. We'll mm -hmm. vote it on Thursday. Um, and then on Thursday, what is left is what? Article 25. Article, Article 25. 25. The citizens petition. Yep. And the and the letter. And the letter, correct. And, and, I, and I, just um I, just yeah. oh, sorry. Ahead. No, well, I was I, just gonna I, say on the continuing of committees, I just wanted to make sure that. Uh, somebody has read through and made sure that all the committees that are supposed to be on that list are on that list or on the, you know. Yeah, I have. Oh, no, okay. wait, we also have Article 22. No, we did Article 22. We did, our article we did. yes. It's my bad. Yeah. So we have L to do for right. CPC and then the rest of it. Yep. And the letter, I like the letter. I liked your letter, Bob. Yeah, yeah the letter some... came in as a PDF. Did you mean that? Um, yes. How did okay. I send? I I can send it as a Word document if you prefer. Well, if you want us would, to edit it at all, it, it'll make or, it easier to to um, include it in the warrant that I'm creating if it's a Word document. Okay. I, I will resend it as a Word document. If you, you choose to edit it, do it in markup mode so we can all see what the edits are. Okay, thank you. you thank and you. you know what I mean by that? Sure, track changes. Okay, yeah, track changes. Okay, all right. So then, uh, so public before we take on, before we go for the um, the. Uh, Adjournment. Um, Tony, just a question about the omnibus. When was it finalized? Uh, we we finalized it a while back, the first time we sent it to you, and then there were just a couple small changes. And anytime those changes were made, I think it only happened once or twice. Oh, okay. Sometimes that occurred, we forwarded it. Uh, we forwarded those changes and the new draft to you guys. Right. All right, so I'll, I'll get the, the most recent one. It's in it's, it's in your, everything that you've picked up from Allison yeah. has had the most recent data in it, plus what she's emailed out to the committees. So okay. that's what she emailed today, Dana. I have, a, I have April 4th, but she's got April 11th now, right? Okay. So, but yeah, it's... you should have gotten that today. All right. Um, so we've had, I've had it on the agenda for the selectmen um, every every week, but we haven't touched the budget numbers. I think in I think it's been like almost a month since the last time we sent you guys a change. Yep. And we don't plan on making any budget changes tomorrow. That's appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so next on the agenda is public forum. And I do not see any members of the public present at the meeting. So I think a motion to adjourn is in order. So I'll, I'll make a motion. I made the motion I'll to adjourn. 
I'll second it. <laughs> Peter, you're already asleep. No, I'm not asleep. Are you no. kidding me? The Bruins just set another record. Oh, good. Don't worry. 33 points. Wow. High, highest wow. points in the NHL. Motion on Joy. Uh, Is, Barba. Motion on Aye. Bartlett. Aye. Beatty. Beatty? Is she here? She disappeared. Okay. She was uh, running out of battery. Barba. All right. Aye. Uh, McMacken. Aye. Sheehan. Aye. Vanderslice. Aye. Warren. Aye. Zahora. Aye. Army, aye. That's eight. Right. We'll see, All right. We'll Good night, see, everybody. See you we'll on, see you Thursday. on Thursday. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Joy. Thank you, yes. Thank you. I just I know we went over yeah. that. We went over that article about the transferring money from enterprise to general fund, and it's always confusing. I know you you're relatively new to the committee. If you if you have any questions and or anything about like something like that. Allison and I can um, jump on a call with you and explain how that works. Okay, that'd be great. Thanks for the offer. All right. Thank you so much. Yep. Bye. Good night. Right, bye.